Hey guys, I got a message from our friends over at Canadoc.ca. Canadoc believes that if you're going to consume cannabis, you should do it responsibly. And I'm all for it too. If you head over to Canadoc.ca, they will put you in contact with medical cannabis experts that can help you get your medical cannabis cart. A license, like I like to call it, Poseidon. Um, get that card. It's completely confidential. No one will know. It doesn't. Your job isn't going to know. Uh, it doesn't affect your Medicare. It doesn't affect anything. No loans. No one knows except for you. So get that. And then that gives you access to all kinds of companies, the best companies that will grant you edibles, drops, live resin, vape pens, um, these fucking delicious cookies, all kinds of cool stuff that they have on this. I'm a, more of a CBD guy. I use the CBD drops. And if you're a veteran, your stuff's free. All the companies that they put you in contact with, they collect uh, on the back end and they just ship you your stuff. If you're a veteran, I think Blue Cross pays for it. So there's no reason really if you're consuming cannabis to not do it responsibly. Go to the experts, get someone to talk to you, get your card. They'll give you a prescription on what they believe you should be taking. And then get the best quality stuff, stuff that you can't normally get in Quebec. Products that are over 30% THC. So far, the people that have used it, us and the fans are really happy with it. I just made a new order this morning. It was mostly for CBZ drops for my dog, um, but I like it. So canadoc.ca. Consume responsibly. Go to the experts. Thank you. I take you for a ride on the devil's ship. I take you for a ride where you see ghosts swim. Now come with me and let this story begin. Sarah, George, George, Sarah. Hey, hello. Welcome to the podcast. So uh, I, I have to, George. What are you doing? You're a missionary now. Yeah. For real? You're not going to Cuba for religious beliefs. That's not true. No, it's got to help people out. Just humanitarian? Yeah. Do you only help out Cubans? Uh, Yeah, pretty much. Help out Cubans. What about Pakistanis? I don't think there are any in Cuba. <laughs> not, in, not in Cuba, but I mean, everyone else that out. has problems, you, they can go fuck themselves. Pakistanis are like a weird one. So they unless they have out. nice beaches, yeah, that's like, sex trade, you won't help them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think... Um, I don't think Pakistan needs help. I think they're like they're good. They're good. They're good for help. You think so? No, I think they're good for help. There's like there's like like 500 million of them. They're everywhere. Yeah, there are a lot of. What kind of help do Cubans need? Um, money. Like a boat to get to Miami. Money for like sex. They need um, more like less. I think less money for sex and more fixing their roofs. Okay. So what do you do when you're there? Do you give them money or do you build stuff? I just hand hand out stuff, hand out hand out toys. Oh shit! Helping oh, that's helping, fine. helping one guy fix his roof. Poseidon went down to Cuba as a sex tourist. I, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and but you're going down as a humanitarian. This bring, is amazing. Bring like baseball gloves and stuff. I feel you could. They like baseball. Yeah, this is. I always wanted to go down to the Dominican and just like get like adopt an entire baseball team and then like have my own team then they'd grow up and then it would pay back right because then i'd have like a whole lineup of children this is what white women think of this is i don't think they do i want to adopt this is a sarah quinn yeah it yeah that's this like, is a good but, idea though they'd be awesome you'd adopt, yeah like, like so mariana rivera arguably and i say this as a red sox fan the greatest closer of all time he's from panama and he was poor as a kid he used uh, boxes of cereal to make a baseball glove so i think if you can't you went down with like baseball stuff how much are baseball gloves um it depends mine was exp i'm a lefty so that but I don't know. They're more expensive they're, I think because they're rare. Like, yeah. It's, so yours know. was or, on your or right I hand? Couldn't, or maybe I wanted the discount, but the discounts were only on the right. No, are you wear, yeah, you wear it on your right hand and throw okay. it with your left hand. Yeah, yeah, that's. So how much are baseball gloves? Should we buy a couple and give them to a silly so you can bring them down? 20 uh, 25 to $130. That's reasonable. The and they, and they yeah, love, like, yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. not trying to be an asshole or baseball. facetious. Like, they love baseball. And Yeah, yeah. I was serious. Yeah. What if I buy a couple of gloves and give them to you? Will you bring them down to the two of the locals? All right, we'll uh, do that. Of course. Of course, man. Yeah. Like last time can we, oh, can we get a, can we get a lefty one? I feel bad for, like, the little left-handed kid. Who there then, are no left-handed kids. They're not inbred. <laughs> They're all. I'm huh? left-handed. You're left-handed, too. <laughs> I'm left-handed. Oh, what's going on here? Poseidon. You yeah. booked all the inbred comedians. Among, well, so, why are they both left-handed? Uh, my brother's left-handed. I, I I think I was uh, <laughs> left-handed too as a kid, but then my grandmother right. forced me to, with a, to write to do everything with the right because. So everybody's yeah. parents are siblings here. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> <laughs> How's that possible? Uh, my mom had me at, at like forty-one. That's why. Uh -huh. uh, that's why I'm like a, a, gen I'm a genius. Wait, why? Uh, what's the? It's just where you start writing with. It's that's all that. 
what, whatever my, hand you start my writing dad with. is a lefty he's Ugh. like one of six kids and four to the six of them were left hand like it's genetic as it, well is it, it genetic it, or is it, it how you start writing it's i'm pretty sure it's genetic there's also oh, studies correct. with, with you twins sons of bitches. a lot of twins one will be right-handed and one will be left-handed but i think it's like how they are their position in the womb so what like Side, I don't know. I don't. It's like know. you check that out. I'm fucking curious now because there's def there's definitely a genetic. Factor. I thought I was just joking about the genetics thing. It's also like Middle East. There's also a lot of like first cousin marriages, second cousin marriages. Oh, is is it all lefties? I I presume so. My yeah. grandmother, like my great grandparents, were first cousins. <coughs> um, so my grand, but she's right handed. But four of her kids are left handed. They were Jews, so I feel like the Jewishness cancels out the inbred. I don't know. No, that's, that's, that's that, that, it, it. It enhances it. That's where the inbredness <laughs> comes from. He's saying it's like Ashkenazi Jews are like. There are also uh, so it it could be genetic, but there's also More brain damage. Uh, it says. <laughs> that's what it says. Fetal development, uh, depending on if they get more hormones. Uh, oh, yeah. There's something fetus. about, like, androgens in the womb, I think. Like, I think this is for women being left-handed. Me, it's just genetic. Okay, but. so I was just fucking around, but, yeah, you guys are mutants, according uh, to science. <laughs> oh, my God, a small percentage. I'm a witch, I think. A, a small percentage of researchers theorize that all human beings are meant to be right-handed, but some type of brain damage <laughs> early in it's life causes damage. left-handedness. I, I told it. you, you love fucking love freaks. Left-handers and parents. Yeah, this is a rather controversial. Controversial <laughs> theory. Yeah, because you guys don't like the or truth. Left-handed left truthers. <laughs> no, I believe I am have fucking brain damage. I've got a learning disability. I have brain damage too, but I, I'm right-handed. What what caused your brain damage? Just I don't know, but I think life. I don't know what the life. fuck it was. I was born right. this way. I don't Doing know. Comfort zone every fucking way? week. That's not helping. <laughs> I don't know if you become a weirdo. I think by 15, you've developed into whether you're going to be a weirdo or not. I think I was. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, oh, and then yeah, yeah. it's just where you're going to put your skills. Are you going to become a good weirdo, like you're going to do comedy and make people laugh, or are you going to become a weird weirdo and like stalk people? Don't you yeah. find normal people, people weirder that like if yeah, you I have find a, normal you people have a weird. nine to five and and are happy, but that's not normal. That's not, but that's, that's considered normal. You're like yeah, that's considered you're two point three kid, like your average person. I like that. Nothing though. wrong with those people, but to me, I'm like that's weird. To I'm me. jealous of that though. Oh, me too. I'm jealous too. if the nine to five is not toxic, if it's a fun nine to yeah, five, yeah. if you can do that and have a family and be happy, I'm jealous of that. I think that's the best way to be happy. The problem is most nine to fives are toxic as fuck. Yeah. The only good nine to five is just like nine to 12, nine to 11, man. Nine, like I used to work for the government like for like four months in a year because of like school and stuff. And I just hated it. I just <laughs> go in put some numbers, some stuff in Excel sheets and listen to podcasts yeah. all fucking day and just tune my brain out and go home. That's a, I used to be a census worker for a summer. Fuck, man. Yeah, the worst census worker. This is fucking, it's terrible. It's awful. Yeah, that's why the census isn't accurate. Are you, are you trying, <laughs> is, that, is that why you uh, you plugged in like the high crime rate from for black people? Is that was all my doing, baby. <laughs> is that what you did? No, it was... Um, I, it, it was because you had to you had to go door to door, and there was at random some house was selected to do the big questionnaire, which was massive, yeah. and the small one. And the massive one, you can't get people to do it. Like you can't even call them and do it over the phone because it's too long and annoying. So what I did is I just put all the massive ones on the side and took all the little ones and just called the people up. And I did it by phone. I go just answer. What do you, what is it? How many people in there? What are you doing? What's that? <laughs> I. Uh... I, I I think like it's I think at this point like it's like so it's such a shared experience between like every fucking comic that I know like we all work at a call center I'm pretty sure yeah I I did telemarketing in high school oh fuck man it it got funny though like one time like I had to like call on behalf of like KFC like hello sir have you tried the new uh, <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken butter butter chicken whatever the fuck is the butter chicken burger yeah the butter chicken <laughs> burger this is the press he like they did it and the and I just I I, I I it was so fucking funny. I was trying not to laugh in the little cubicle because the guys just responded with like "Go to hell" and hung up on me <laughs> for chicken. Yeah, for chicken, man. The, the thing I hated was when they would call me and ask me, "Do you have uh, like twenty minutes to just answer some questions?" I was like, "No, I don't have twenty minutes." No, we're just gonna ask you like what your favorite shampoo brand. I go, Why would I want to do this? Why would anybody subject themselves on purpose I do. to these questions? I can't say. I, I had this happen, and it was like right after I moved into my sublet from hell, which we won't get into on this episode. But and somebody called, and I, I don't. I want to be nice, and like I've done recently. You know, I, I, not that, not like calling people up, but I'm like, if it's a study. I did psych studies. I should give back, and then. 
you go and you go, you answer more and more questions and you're giving your address. And then I spent like a week being like, what if now I'm going to get murdered? Like I've given some man just called me and I gave him insane. Like I live alone. Here's my address. And here are the things I like. <laughs> yeah, like I'm partial to lavender. But they're asking, it was like a media thing. So they're like, how many TVs do you have? And I'm like, is he trying to figure out? But I didn't have, I'm like, I, I came here with a suitcase. I've got, no, I've got a bunch of moths. I love how you're and telling him all your toilet information. That has shit on the outside. Cause I just like moved in, hadn't cleaned yet. And, and, but he's like, yeah, how many computers? How many? And I'm like, you down, you down a fuck? <laughs> God, is that, is that on the questionnaire? Does your door lock at it this is point? Now. No. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how, how are you not dead yet? I, it's crazy that I'm not dead. Talk to the mic. Talk to the mic. No, how I, are you not dead yet? I don't, I have no concern for my physical safety. Like I, I what I studied in grad school, like I, I yeah. studied like social pain, belonging. And so I worry, I have all these like social anxieties. I don't want to make eye contact with people, but like I'll like walk home alone in the middle of the night. And yeah, I just don't. You're trying to get raped. It's like, yeah, I'm just not scared. Like in LA. That's probably why it won't happen. When you try, yeah, it just doesn't. Like, should... It's when you forget and you give up. That's what <laughs> but, I, but then what she's asking for it is like the number one thing that rapists say. But have you noticed whenever you look into a she's asking for it case? Mm-hmm. She's never oh, asking she's for it. <laughs> she's never, never asking, asking for, it. for it. Yeah. No, of course not. No. She no. was eating the butter chicken burger. <laughs> she was asking for it, your honor. It's like, What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She's in a giant chicken costume, you're on. You're gonna fuck these chicks. She was dressed like a hua. Oh, I heard from somebody that like you'll, there'll be like a bunch of like like male like comics around you trying to get your attention, and you would like Sarah. So yeah. Wait, ob- what? So oblivious. Exactly. Oh, I'm yeah. so I am. Uh, I'm very like, ob- you're so oblivious to like yeah. other like you have no idea what, what's going on. But it's great because sometimes I watch it from a distance and I laugh. <laughs> No, but it's great because like then, well, then women hate me because they're like, you know, men are such dicks and they're hitting. And I'm like, no, never. They're they're just really nice. And they talk, oh, and, but like, I'm, this guy asked me if I'm, I like massages. You know, like the biggest <laughs> misogynists are like other women, dude. Yeah. They fucking hate women yeah. more than men will ever do. Like a thousand percent, dude. I hear it when they talk about each other. Oh my god, we don't man. say shit like that about them, but they're like, yeah, she's a fucking whore. And I don't. Like, I literally we, don't. I like everybody. We joke. We'd never say that. Like we never actually. Like I never heard another male comic friend of mine be like. Fuck, she's a whore. Like, you never actually hear it. You, Do you just actually see it. hear. See, women? I don't, yeah, yeah. women don't say these things to me, which means are they saying it about me? I don't like. Mm, I don't think you give off whore vibes. Though. I don't think so. Even for haters, I don't think you give off I whore kept, vibes. Uh, I kept a account yesterday because the three, like, biggest, um, three biggest, like, nouns are, like, used uh, on comfort zone are, like, black, uh, <laughs> Jew, and whore. <laughs> That's just me, though. That was like Michelle uh, yesterday, I think, like did a drinking <laughs> game with retard and like went through two oh, yeah. large glasses of wine in Again, like an hour. We, yeah. You're welcome, wine lobby. <laughs> it's like uh, the, uh, the 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 Jew counter was up because Josh wasn't there. He was watching up from like Jew uh, Jew, Jew heaven, heaven, Iceland. <laughs> yeah, Reykjavik. <laughs> <laughs> it's of uh, Valhalla. Yeah, yeah, Jewish it's Valhalla. Jewish Valhalla. Jew Halla. Jew Halla. <laughs> Yeah, he was in Juhala watching. That's his gamer tag, Juhala. <laughs> that's a Jew good gamer tag. That's, like a, bread. that's a sick one. Oh, yeah. It is. Was it Shala? Shala bread. Chala. C H A L L A H. I think Chala. I'm my my oh, Irish yeah. side's coming out. I can't. Yeah. Oh, in the raiding and the <laughs> pillaging. Oh, enough already. Yeah. Aren't you tired? <laughs> Aren't you tired of all the raping? Oi, <laughs> stop it! Oi, vey, the rapes, <laughs> the axes. Oy. That's my favorite. There's like there's like variations of like the uh, the, the Yiddish New Yorker. Yeah. Type. Oh, I love that Jewish. It makes oh, me yeah. laugh so much. It's like the Woody Allen. Yeah. Yeah. The cat skills. Were we talking about this Samson's last? With got the, it. What is he, it? Samson only has some of the annotations a bit, but he doesn't do it fully. Fully, you got to go to New York and hear. He's it. gone like full. Like I, so I lived here. I left in 2019 and have come back. Like he's gone kind of full Jew since I've. And you're like fully. You're fully Jewish. No, fully, no. I, what, I wish I was. Um. So my technically my dad is a Jew, but didn't like practice. So my grandma, mm. my yeah. Yeah. If he's it, out of practice, it's so hard. yeah. I just, I just, I grew up. I watched a lot of Seinfeld as a kid, and like me too. Yeah, I identified <laughs> with George Costanza, who's that, Larry David. So, that's like, my guy. That's your, yeah, that's I'm your like spoke. culturally Jewish. I, I watch too much. I'm what happens when like a working class Irish person marries a Jew. So you don't, you have all the neuroses, but none of the like money or education to go get therapy. And so you just like watch a lot of Seinfeld and identify with it. But I'm you not really know Jewish why. at all. Yeah. But like most Greek Orthodox, I look up 
to a uh, legendary Jewish man. Mm. Most of them, it's a long-haired, bearded Jesus. Mine is a bald-headed, glass-wearing Larry, Larry David. Larry, I so love that man. That's you, so your landlord? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's my landlord. You look up there. I, I love Larry David. Larry like, David, I, I think, is the last. Like, I think I've been incredibly lucky, and I've met most of my heroes. So I think Larry David is the never, last one that I have met. I never got into that. Sh- I never got I don't into meet, Larry David. I never want to meet Larry David. Oh, because you don't want him to be like an asshole, or no, I, I I'd be fine oh, with him being an asshole. Oh, you want him to be an asshole. I, I'm more worried of him hating me, so I don't want to know <laughs> that he hates me. I, I it was hard to watch Curb. I like the little clips, but I just can't relate to any of these people because you're like Jewish. Or yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Is, is this boring? Like I don't know. It's no, like no, it's you ha- It's one of those I slow burns. You c- I uh, trust me, it. you could do it, but you have to sit there and you have to earn it. Basically, oh, the laughs man. are earned in this one. And yeah. then especially after the first season, when the production value goes up, it gets yeah. better. Yeah. The thing is, once you really get into it, you have to be someone that can handle the cringe. I, I don't a, see my. I don't find it cringy. That's okay, so that's weird. you though. But I I'm have a buddy. Like, this is rela- This is who the would way stop I wish watching I could and call be. me. And be like, look, I can't continue the episode. I go, why? He's like, bro, it's too cringy. I can't. Like, I keep. Th- I'm embarrassed for them. I can't do it. So yeah, yeah. it gets cringy. You wearing an Avenged Sevenfold sweater is the most Quebec thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. I don't <laughs> know what any dude, of this, those words mean. This is, but have I, you seen how this looks on me now? This didn't <laughs> used to be this big. It's like a dress. Every every fucking every Quebecois is just white trash now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like four hundred years now. They're all this white trash. Dude. That's it. Are you realize that? Yeah. But uh, is that like a white trash sweater? Is it because it's no? no it's, it's a like heavy it's, metal band. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's Quebec. But Quebecers love. They're not from Quebec, but Quebecers love them. Okay. Oh yeah. fuck! They go ape for like this, like silly, silly shit. Like I see, like Quebecers, like they like. There's a stereotype from like Ottawa, like all Quebecers are like trashy, like tacky, like like fake, fake like tans and shit. Really? Fake tans? Oh, no, they don't have I fake like, tans. Like Gatineau, like Gatineau Hall, like just like molested the idea of French Canadians. Oh, that's why it's because the rest of like the Ottawa people. But that's because Ottawa is very resentful because they're known throughout Canada as like the boring city. Oh, like fuck. in front of in front of like Ottawa, even Laval is happening. Like <coughs> Ottawa is just government people. So th- what they do is they, well, they're trash. They're poor. We have the census reports. These guys are poor. So they try to do shit like that. Fucking yeah. Ottawa. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to like the uh, Ottawa Comedy Roast Award show later tonight. Oh, what is oh, that? Oh, cool. It's like a yearly thing where people like uh, roast everybody else and like give out like these like fake awards. Oh, like, you're going to kill know. everyone. I'm not doing oh, anything. You're, not, you're the only one worthy. I'm like, you should. No, 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 no. There's like other like good ass roasters like my man, Jeffrey Davis. Who is this guy? Jeffrey Davis. He's from Ottawa? Yeah. How come you don't bring him around? I'm trying to, but... Bring him around. Yeah. I already told you. I want let's the good him, ones to come do, down. Let's put him on comfort zone. Do yeah. the roast. Keep the yeah. shit ones yeah. out of the city, but the good ones, you bring him in. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jeff is like the best roaster in Canada. I'm Fucking bring him in, doggy. Yeah. I'm not exaggerating, dude. So bring him in. That's the kind of people we want. All right, we want cool ass dudes. He doesn't even have to roast. He can come judge, be on the panel, just to come yeah. hang out, be part oh, of the ethos. If he, if he judged, fuck. it'll be fucking hilarious. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna bring Jeffrey Davis. That'd be fucking sick. You're right, dude. All the good comics have to fucking uh, stand together because they mix up too much with the shit ones, and it ruins comedy in Canada. And we have a bad rap now. All the good ones left, they say, but there's a lot of good ones left. The good ones gotta stay together, but it's like the Lord of the Rings. I feel like we can fight these goddamn goblins. Is that really the, like the good versus bad? Is it it's just not versus? It's just you want the, yeah. The way you become better is you hang on with good yeah, comics. Yeah. But is it also just like a preference of taste for comedy? Is it like is yeah? But there are shit comics that are sub- like that are subjectively shit, and some that are objectively shit. So you have to. We're gonna drop names now. <laughs> yo, I yo. literally, I love look, everybody. I've got well, no subje- issue, subjectively, some people <laughs> there's certain look. Subjectively, some people like my style of comedy, his style, let's say, yeah. and they're not, or they don't, and they like something similar. But then there's objectively people who are not funny. Okay. Because objectively, you know, you're like, I know what you're trying. Because there's certain shows, like, if I'm not booked on it, I'm not like, oh, these people don't think I'm funny. I think I'm just not right for the show. Like, I do think there's a bit of that. But there are too. Like, It's not like everyone with a microphone that's funny. Of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have no, to stop course. saying this. Of this course. is this. It always, I find it baffling to me. Everyone, it's not for you, but dude. It, this person's grabbed the mic two times in their life. They're still shit. Tell them they're shit. Stop saying no, no. Did they're you say amazing. Two times and they're yeah. Like, there's people like well, that. of course, if they grab the mic two times in their life, they're gonna be shit. But well, no, I know people who better. right off the bat they were fucking awesome. Some people that are funny and people that are yeah. not. I find that like I don't know. In my case, if I do too much open mics, my brain gets like retarded. Because <laughs> you see some fucked up dude. It's the open mics that are making me angry. I started frequenting more open mics just to see people try to draft them, yeah. and I see some good ones, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna become something good. And then some that are not, they should not be at open mic. If they don't get the concept, they just like people looking at them. Okay. 
This is sometimes crazy that's to me. fun. That, like sometimes I it's, love it's an open mic, and not even like anywhere. Not I don't even have an example in my head. But there's something fun about seeing just like stuff that isn't funny. It's almost funnier. My my favorite comedy special of all time. Actually, I don't want to. It's I'll show you the video. It's not a Montreal comic. It's like this random person. There's like a hundred views online, but it's the worst comedy i've ever seen but it's i've watched it more i watch that more than norm mcdonald like it, it, yeah. it i'll show you i don't i know i don't want to i don't want to be i i it's truly that, don't want to be mean it's like it's somebody videotaped code? a thing i've shown it to a few comics can you it, write it down or yeah yeah i will send you we will watch this you after pen, like write it down yeah right it's now. the best <laughs> thing i've you, ever seen it's <laughs> i yeah but like sometimes i like you know what I mean? Like sometimes something that's so bad, it's is, performance art. Is it his? No, is no, it? no. <laughs> it is. Okay, how do we? Okay, no, you're gonna show. I'm not writing this. No, down. he's not gonna show anyone. I Go. just, I no. truly don't want to. Like, it's not All a right. Montreal person. Nobody right, wouldn't see. even know who this is. But <clears throat> yeah, um, is it Tom Myers? Like what? No, what no. The this fuck is, is going on here? I'm gonna show you guys this. We we'll, can edit this out. This is not fun for the internet. Okay, we'll no, do it's, that. This oh, is fun, actually. Yeah, tell, tell us later because it's gonna make her uncomfortable. I really don't want to like bully somebody. Is it Hannah Gatsby? It's not somebody I know super well. It Hannah was like, Gatsby. I was in a different. You city seen that guy special? It's Hannah Gatsby too. Is yeah. It, is it? Good. Is it Hannah Gatsby three? No, like, no, no. It's fuck? like <laughs> it's like an amateur comic. <sighs> Hannah Gatsby. No. You can ask. I showed um, I showed right Dion now. with Seam and like Jonathan Borello this last summer. You oh, can they're all them. in the special. No, no, no. I showed it Are to they, them and they found white? it funny too. Because I'm like, is this just me who finds this funny? Because I've I've like seen this person in real life, but it's just it's like a corporate gig that it's like it's perfect performance art, but it isn't. And this person's proud of it. They put it on the internet, and it's oh, I put a lot of shit I'm not proud of on the internet. No, no, but it's like it it there's pages of like. The, like th there's notes all over the place and like anything that sounds like a joke is word for word, like an e-card or like a Reddit. So are you, are you making fun of an autist? No, it, I don't. I really, what if, what if we talk about it and then no, this is so boring. Leap it out about the name and they, they'll never understand. They'll never guess. I, I, I shouldn't, uh, I, I really Jesus don't Christ want it. Would you, that's not, I, I, I just learned how to use the internet. Hold on, I'm going to find it. He no, types not. with his fingers, with his little fat fingers <laughs> on the keyboard. Performance in front, people. Uh, come on, dude. That's silly, Billy, man. The comedy strippers. No shit. Yeah, it goes with your history. Putting. It's just dudes with shirts off. So uh, all this to say, there are shitty fucking, uh, well, comedy. But there, some there shitty comedy is great. And yeah. And all <laughs> shitty comedy is great for us to look at. like Because when you're with a good crew, you can laugh at anything. But it doesn't make them good. They're still shit. Hey, man. You know? It's uh, whatever. It's funny. I think funny. Is I funny. think it's also like people think we yeah. could be bad. You know, it's like who you think they're bad, we're bad, vice versa. Who knows? You if, can't. You know, if oh, it's an open a, mic, if you know the audience knows it's an open mic, you're not really paying for it. You're talking about the, you're talking about two different things. We're not talking about what the audience is. We're talking about there are people who are just not good at it. Yeah, there but are I people who yeah. are just. I hate getting laughs yeah. on stage. Anybody that gets laughs is a fucking hack. Yeah, you gotta get idiot. size. You gotta get big. Gasps. You gotta get fat on stage and <laughs> say like quirky stuff. No, it's weird that people can do, and then you they the go silence. and they don't get a lap and yeah. they keep saying the same thing. That's like sometimes I'll do something for the first time it doesn't get you're, a you're lap. Overth and you're overthinking. I, it. And you're, I'm like, you're overthinking what I'm saying. You're overthinking. Okay. It. You're trying to defend someone specific that I'm not even talking about. I'm not about. even, even talking about thinking. anyone specific. There I'm are just people to, just like in everything. There play are, there devil's are, advocate. There are accountants that are awesome at their job, and there are bad ones that after a while go out of business because they keep yeah. getting people into some financial. Uh, Hardship. They're just not good at their job. They miscalculate yeah. stuff. They're not good. Same thing with comedy. We have a lot of comics that are good. We have open micers that are good. And then there's people who should not even be yeah. open micers that are still there. But I think, by lying to yeah. them, it doesn't help them at all. But what if it's like, what if that's somebody who's just gonna kill themselves or go off the deep? Like, if it all just. But that's them? not what we're arguing. I'm just okay. arguing the funny. I'm not okay. arguing what's around them. Yeah. I'm just saying the funny. It's not. There's some people that yeah. it's just not. Oh, mentioned. I agree. But I, I think like you. Well, Simon, you go around now and you see shit. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, 100%. There are people that are just, you're like, okay, this is, they're not here for stand up. They're here because yeah. people are watching they're them. They're here for, but yeah. that prevents them from like renting a van and driving a truck into people. But that's not what we're arguing. It. But that's not, I'm not arguing <laughs> oh, okay, whether they should yeah. be allowed to do it or oh, not. Yeah, you're yeah. arguing oh, that. Okay. I'm ne I never argue <laughs> whether they should be allowed. Go ahead. And, I'm just saying <laughs> they're not funny. Yeah. There's no reason to okay. lie and be like, well, maybe one day the guy that goes up and just talks about vans for an hour and doesn't have a joke, uh, maybe he's going to be, he's, he won't be funny because he doesn't talk about anything funny. Yeah. He just, 
talks about his collection of cars because that's what he wants to talk about. So he uses the, the scene for something else. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm not saying you shouldn't be allowed to do it. Oh, Go okay. ahead. It's an open mic. Do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think the I think the the fatter you are and the less laughs the funnier? you get. Yeah, the funnier you are. I think if you if you're like this if you're like a five hundred pound man and you go up there and you talk about Vance for an hour and it's not even f- like no no laughs because it's true true comedy. Are you thinking of like far like a Farley bit? No 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 no. But actually, I accidentally kind of stumbled upon it right now. Yeah, I just stumbled upon it really. Yeah, accidentally. May no 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 because he's That's funny. He was he was fun. like you have to be funny. The, uh, I'm trying to put you it could be together. funny. You you could be uh you could be unfunny and somebody gives you shit that's funny and you can't make it funny. Have you ever seen that? You ever seen somebody like oh that would have been such a good yeah yeah concept. Like, yeah like you can't even tell someone else's joke yeah of, yeah yeah. Is this not for everyone? I you know what my favorite my favorite thing like like watching a guy bomb while being cocky is extremely funny to me, <laughs> but it's so like upsetting like you know like because that that's what Samson mentioned is like bombing while cocky. Like not only do you like not respect the art form or like stand up, but you also like dis- disrespect the crowd because now you're like talking about like I make this amount of money. <laughs> like I've bom- seen that. bombing while bragging. Like you got yeah. a you got a I got an expensive gig, two thousand dollars, like in Toronto waiting for you because of a gig. Are you talking about someone specific? Because there's someone because there's someone in the city that did it once at the nest. Poseidon, do you remember what I'm talking about? That's oh, I remember. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't have to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. You don't have to say. His, no, no, no. The helicopter. The helicopter was yucks. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, who? I, I guess we shouldn't say the name. But you know the helicopter thing. Helicopter. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you the helicopter thing I'm saying. But helicopter, there was another one. Helicopter. There was another one at the net. He was there too, and uh, this crowd was all right. Gone up. The crowd was fine. It wasn't the crowd's fault or anything. Bum. Then he went on to close, and he he just goes on bragging about his awards. He opened yeah. up talking about some awards he got or whatever. And we're like, all right, all right. Like I thought it was no joke. That's then he starts sick. bombing. Yeah, <laughs> starts bombing. The sickest way to bomb, dude. And then we're watching, and then he's like, "You know what? Like, uh, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I have other gigs." And he's just shitting on the crowd, like they don't get his humor. And everyone in the back's like, "Yo, this is fucking awkward." It was a Sunday. It was one of those Sunday Fundays at the Nest back in the day. Uh, okay. And I was like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" And he was just digging his own grave every time it wouldn't work it was their fault because they didn't respect oh, yeah, how can't. cool he was okay that's yeah. my favorite yeah. bomb i think is just going out in a bang like like you're fucking <laughs> tony montana dude i saw another guy he's talking about the <laughs> helicopter there's a dude tony who, montana. there was a club that opened for a short period of time here and then it closed down and one of the owners of the club was going up because he thought he was a comic and he wasn't yeah and it was a weekend and he was dude tanking hard and then he just got fed up he got mad at the car he goes you know what Pff, i don't care you think I'm, I'm super, I have a, you know how much money I have? I have a helicopter. I have a fucking helicopter. <clears throat> and you see that hotter, older woman in the back? That's my girlfriend. And he's pointing at some lady in the back. Is he like, being <laughs> facetious? No, no, he's, he was fuck actually yeah. angry, so he was doubling down. Who has a helicopter? Goes, I have a helicopter. Fuck and yeah. I was like, yeah, look at it. He's like, fuck yeah. And the crowd was just like old people that were like, what the Wait, fuck? Wait, you're saying there's a Montreal comic that- He's all- not a comic. Again, you okay. keep jumping. Uh, just because uh, you're okay. grabbing the microphone doesn't make you a fucking comic. Well, I didn't he was know. part owner of the club and he thought himself a comic. This place smells like a hospital. This place? This, spe- this place smells like the waiting room of like a dentist. You mean the Lysol? No, oh. something about maybe maybe it's this, but no, I just like this room smells like oh, at, like the waiting room at like my at like clinic or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I farted. Yeah, oh, There's no way. Can no, we it's write? A joke. It's a joke. Are like you a, gonna tell me then the, like who these helicopter and the other? Yeah, person? you know the hell. Here, yeah. give me the pen. <laughs> Is it this guy? Yeah, write write the secrets. And I will show you the YouTube video. Passing notes around in class. I'll, I'll, I'll show, you both I'll show anyone. Anyone in Montreal wants it, to see the video. Write it down. So this, wanna... is, this is helicopter. You won't know them. You might know one of them, actually. Not the helicopter one. She'll know Are the you helicopter. making a list of like people. This is like Death Note in the comments. I just can't believe yeah. that somebody <laughs> yeah, owns a helicopter. <laughs> That's why she doesn't want to write it. It's fucking Death Note. We're passing the Death Note around. <laughs> and uh, the other one the is. Death Note. <laughs> oh, it's alive? No, no, we're not live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We, so we can delete. No, but there's no reason to make me work uh, here. This is the nest one on the right and the helicopter one. The okay. nest is a is a difficult room for me because like. Okay. I got to pass it by. Who's this guy? One of those surprises me. As the as one of the people that like did the whole like going out with the, with a bang. No, no, the 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 the, the helicopter one. I rode helicopter. Yeah. But the other guy is the guy. The story I was telling you. He was with me where he was like, I you know I'm the I won awards. You guys and he was just yeah. But is really? that also yeah, yeah, that guy? I swear to fucking god. Is that god, facetious though? I swear to fucking god, the nicest people on stage yeah. are like 
the 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 meanest fuckers Fuck off yeah. stage. Exactly. I I've noticed to, the same fucking thing. I swear to God, they hop on stage. It's all nice. It's like, hey, Connect. how are you? I'm Corky. That's it. Yeah. I'm meeting you as you do, and then off stage, it's like fucking piece of shit. That's what neck. it was. That's how I felt Asshole, that I too. Retard. Yeah. yeah. Hey. It's like male feminists are yeah. always the rapists, and yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's I think it's like universal, like men and women in in this case, like they're like they. They're all about like bringing joy and positivity on stage, but off stage, you're trying to get the fucking sound guy fired because yeah. they fucked up the soundboard yeah. bullshit. It's yeah. uh, it's yeah. masks. Yeah, they can't be the same person off and on stage because they don't like who they are, so they go on stage with what they want people to see. Yeah, but then it it comes up like this, and then we're but, bad guys because we use bad words. But you know? one of those examples <laughs> you're saying that guy was like, oh, I'm amazed. So that's being kind of maybe that is that facetious. No, 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 no. Is that an that, act like being like, ha, I'm better more, than you. The more he would bomb, was ironic. The, well, no, because oh, okay. that's not his set. You've seen uh, his set. Okay, okay. That's not his. But you've seen his set. I want. That's not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like talking about real no, people. I don't know. No, but, but, uh, yeah, but yeah. well, I'm not lying. We're saying the truth. You've seen. That's not his set. His set is not. Uh, I don't. His remember. set is not him going up autistic and yelling at people. He was. But since it wasn't working, he's like, "Fuck you, people. I'm better than you." I've, you were there, Poseidon. You remember that night? Was oh, it? Was it? Was it part of his set, or was oh, he being I've, awkward? I've, and I've seen so many bad moments like that. I don't remember the night at all. Because dude, they used to get bad sometimes. Used to get bad sometimes. A lot of them do this. I've I've witnessed it. But everyone chooses to forget. Mm. Right. Oh man, sometimes I wonder, like, because, uh, oh man, oh man, I gotta, I sometimes wonder if, like, if I can just hop on stage and try to be, like, nice and pleasant, but then, like, like fake? Not fake, but just, like, I don't know, just, like, I don't know, like, like, tone it down and, like, talk about my day and stuff, or, like, be, like, reasonable or practical, whatever the fuck. Someone's gonna tell you to go fuck yourself. It's like, but then it's just like, I don't know. The, the outcome is always like, I got to go hard, double down, Ella Akbar, because that's what tr sets me But that's free. what makes you laugh. Like, yeah. is Sarah going on stage? I can't imagine her not doing her type of humor. Like, oh, I, I just, I think I, I got into comedy so, so young. And then it's like nothing shocks. It's like you need. It's like it's like uh, like people like rich like really rich people who are into like really crazy sex stuff because they can get anything they want and it's got to get weirder and weirder. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. I'm like that with comedy where it's like I got into this so young. I need to just keep going harder to like shock myself and. But that's yeah. you, you can't like imagine Sarah going up there and being like uh, doing puns. I, yeah. that, that's half of what I do. That used to be like that was also <laughs> funny to me. I'd be like I'm gonna just like make a rape joke and then I'm just gonna do silly puns for a few minutes. Well, you forgot the puns, now it's just rape. It's all rape all the time. I like the idea of being clean. That like I love a fun pun. Thing. I do love it's a funny, pun. It's funny, you know, make it funny, whatever, man, but it's like, I wonder like, if I just do like a switch. I did that at Grumpy's the other day. I just switch, just nice? Or not switch, but just like, just like, like, just like build it up. Like they had a grumpies where it's just like, I was just like seeing, hey guys, I'm sad. I can't get any women. And then like, I slowly like build up like, like I'm, a, you know, I'm now confident. I'm going to take this woman. I'm going to take that with like, just like, oh, that's good. build up to like, like to, Dr. to the George yeah, we Dr. know Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type of thing. But that could work. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's like, they're and like on this like fucked up roller coaster and stuff. But I don't know, man. Let's try to like. Right, more clean, whatever is, you know, but funny is funny. Whatever makes you laugh makes you laugh, but it has to be good. It has day, to be good. That's the thing. Funny. Yeah. Oh man, I uh, <clears throat> I, I want to. Can you pass that real quick? I want to. I want to. I want to like. Uh, I wanna you want write, the pen I, also? Yeah, I want the pen. I want to. Is this one fucking comic? Is this one comic that's been like pissing me off? I fucking hate. This, what do you want me to tell you? If, if they're shit? nice or I, not? I would love if he writes my name down. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Piece of shit. I hate this person so much. <laughs> oh, me too. Can I see the name? <laughs> <laughs> Can we say? Because people are going to. No. That was a, a good secret. joke. <laughs> secret. I hate this person so much. Hey, go sit down. It's a secret. Oh. It's, it's not hey. even a. Saw this guy, bro. He's fucking. I just feel like there's people who are hate watching right now. <laughs> no, that's good. a good joke. He didn't. All right. Can, I spoil, can we spoil the joke yeah, so nobody yeah. gets Yeah, he mad wrote at your us. mom. <laughs> he wrote your mom. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's that funny. I'm trying to like make it funny at this point. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> I thought he was going to write Oswald Cobblepot. Oh, that's like. I hate that Harry Potter bitch, too, man. Oswald Cobblepot. Fucking. The but penguin. <laughs> Wait, what? Is it? <laughs> the penguin. Oh yeah. That's what call about. Who's fucking? Who's playing that penguin now? It's uh, Colin Mockery. Colin Farrell. Not Colin, Colin Mockery, but that would be funny. <laughs> Colin Farrell. Wait, is that the ball guy from? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Colin Mockery. <laughs> Colin Mockery wasn't he on SNL? <laughs> He did. I he was think. on uh, whose line is it anyway? Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the ball guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Call, I, I confuse the two Collins, man. I mean, 
That's they're a, interchangeable. Oh yeah. Who's learning is anyways, man. Oh, you know what? Speaking of like people that are like nice and stuff, like in high school I did like improv and all the improv kids, like improv is such a like a high energy, like be nice, positive thing, but off stage they're all like it's just uh, probably like bad people. <laughs> I'm just probably like all my high school friends are just like awful sociopaths now. I don't know the sociopath thing. Is it uh, you or I, I don't know? Because I I only started seeing it a lot in show business, quote yeah. unquote. Like okay. when I got into comedy. Before that, most people, except for corporate people, yeah, were pretty much what you see is what you get. And yeah. then uh, through the years as I've been doing this, I keep getting exposed to these fucking people. Yeah, I, it's. I think it's easier now because their brain is so like hooked up on like got to get the next gig. I got to be big. Got to do this, that. Uh, social media has destroyed our brains and all that. Oh, stuff. okay. I, uh, like you mean? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna ask the person who's educated in this. Oh, oh God. Yeah. You mean social media is creating early in the day for me to be educated? What? But is that what? It, no, I'm asking I, you so, to educate I mean, me. I, 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 so I don't study social media, but they're definitely. I, there's tons of research on it. It does. Like I think the dopamine hit from your phone, every notification, you get addicted to that. You social comparison. So you'll like change. You go, like people only people don't post like, oh, I had a boring day. I ate a bagel. Nothing much happened. Nobody posts that. They post like, oh, I just bought a house. I like won an award. I like got married. I what like people post their good Positive stuff yeah. and then sometimes they also over you know sometimes you see that too with like a comic could like post oh i killed last night and you're like actually you bought like people also lie and they're only posting things and then you sit on your phone at home and you see it and you feel like shit about should yourself. we start just posting negative stuff that happens yeah, that's to us? What I, I, would that help you think i should i just like for the greater good yeah just yeah I wish I, I, I wish I could be those people, man. I really do. Just, just post negative shit. I don't no. even like post. I just don't like. I just. I. I have to remember to be like. Oh, I gotta tell people I'm on a show. I just don't like. I post two things. Yeah. I post all the comedy related stuff. Here are the links, all that, and Greek yeah. soccer related stuff that I'm happy about. That's, That's it. That's beautiful, man. I put uh, Yu-Gi-Oh memes and comedy stuff. That's about yeah. It, cause I'm a fucking. <laughs> from a fucking artist. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I wish. I wish I was evil. Like I wish I was one of those like clean comics on stage, but are like sociopath. That's off stage will like s kill you to get that weekend at the nest or some bullshit. They're think, very American psycho esque. Do you think yeah. those people are happy? I mean, I get like if you oh, don't, if you're not. a sociopath and you no, don't have an empathy I, center I in your brain, then I don't think they're not. I, th I think they're they're not happy people. I they're think not happy. Deep down inside, they uh, they cry. Yeah, they cry. They're not happy. And they're usually out of shape too. I could I could kill them all right. Yeah, now they look like the penguin. Tried. They're all the yeah. They're all the penguin. Yeah. The, the, they have webbed feet. I thought. <laughs> I go around giving massages. I thought about like, what if like your corpse gets fat after you die? Does that happen? Does it? No, I don't. Th I, know. I don't it think does, so. It does, but it does if you drown. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, you get bloated. <laughs> your body gets fat. But then, like, I just I don't know why this makes you like your family's trying to like work out your corpse because they want to get you know their, they want to get you into shape. shape. Yeah, they want to get your corpse in shape so you don't get called a fucking fat fuck loser That's by funny. all the other just people lipo. in the cemetery. <laughs> yeah one like there's usually like trends too like ozempic is a new fucking trend oh what's ozempic it's like For a who? diabetes <laughs> medication but like yeah. holly like actors take it to but, be thin but but I've, i'm hearing right like, away other stuff you don't type right away the second th this comes up right away you're like yeah, i gotta lose some weight it's it's the uh, greek god of like losing weight ozempic, ozempic. <laughs> that's what it is what happens to an extremely obese person when they die <laughs> poseidon bro <laughs> you have at least five years left stop <laughs> Stop I've, looking at uh, this. I've got like several like uh, fat friends, large friends that I think about every day about them dying. I'd cry. I'd cry because, you know, they get so a your heart friends. attack. Yeah, they're my friends. I'd literally cry if they died. Of course you would yeah, cry. You don't have to say that. <laughs> like, we're cry. surprised. We're like, you'd feel I, bad that your friend I, died? I, I would cry. Oh, I've, so, I've so cried many tears. No, no, no. Type in, uh, what the what's it called? Uzepic? Ozempic. But Ozempic. I, but I, it's a buzzword. It's a yeah. buzzword. I, I just, I get my news from open mics. I'm like my brain is so like on stand up that I have no like idea what's happening <laughs> outside the world. Like you know, I can't even like read a newspaper anymore. Like. Semaglutide. So uh, what you saying? This is killing Hollywood people. Uh, I don't know if it's killing <clears throat> them, but they're all they're. T I think what it's doing is it's killing people with diabetes because I think too too many like rich famous people want to stay thin, and then there was there were shortages of the medication that's actually supposed to go to people with diabetes. I don't believe it. And it's then I think you can't. It, you lose a lot of weight, but then you can't. If you get off it, you gain it all back. So it's like, mm, here's uh, a, it's, hold on, possible it's, side effect. It's keto, ozempic, and adrenochrome. Because what it does is it plays with your um, 
uh, what not the hormone levels metabolism something with because uh, uh, usually when you gain weight it has to do with an imbalance uh, something with yeah you you it's an imbalance you you're eating too much shit the yeah no no but it's also because your body can't digest it, yeah it's like some, yeah certain it's people like have a, lower metabolism yeah it's yeah. like a hormone but or I like forgot the thyroid, name of the hormone like a thyroid related no it's no. like a hormone related thing I for I forgot the name of it. Uh, in in influ no influenza uh, speaking no of, no no speaking of hormones you look so cute with the little like <laughs> yellow suit icon every time I see that I just want to like I want to like hug what? you you look like a BG or something yeah, like yeah. One of the BGs. you look so cute very little, like, I, yeah you look so adorable like, little thing you're, like your arms crossed you're smiling like a little news anchor <laughs> <laughs> I, I a good cartoon I, I, speaking of like uh, uh, weight loss I've Eat. Seen, like I, I saw like earlier. Videos and pictures of you. You were like, you were like, kind of a hefty guy, but then you lost some weight. You know? Very, very, very fat. Yeah. What, what did you, What did you use? Would you? Oh, uh, AIDS. You had, <laughs> oh, you're gay. I got yeah, I got that H high. Oh, it's insulin. Insulin. No, insulin. I started. Yeah, the, oh, that's um, what I asked uh, for hates. people with diabetes. But yeah, that's yeah, what I was telling you. So uh, insulin just, uh, and balance. I learned how to eat properly. That was all it was. Yeah, I changed my diet. That's good, man. Yeah. I love like I, I, there's I sort of fucking got like I think there's like there's like a a formula. Because I think like edgy, edgy, edgy stuff gets like tiresome real quick. Because it's like, how did you lose weight? And it's like, a, it's, it's, it's a literal mad lip. I got AIDS from uh noun, <laughs> black guy. Like it's, it's <laughs> three it's black a, men. It's, it's a mad lip, dude. No, it's just because people don't, but they think like no, it had to be more. It wasn't. It was just, uh, yeah. I changed my diet uh, drastically. I cut out sugar, cut out bread. Yeah. That's why uh -huh. I get angry when people are like, I can't lose weight. I asked them, are you doing this, this, and this? Like, no, I'm still eating bread, I'm still eating this. I'm just a bit. I go, but I, I've done it for years. Yeah. And I'm telling you, uh -huh. I know I couldn't lose weight either. You have to go hardcore. You have to cut out the sugar and the bread. Yo, yeah, it's man. harder now because so, groceries are so expensive. Like, like and everything has sugar meat, in it. Buy, and everything has sugar in it. And then having the time it to cook it. Yeah. So ozempic long-term side effects, uh, pancre pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas. Homosexuality. How the fuck is that a side effect? <laughs> Vision changes. Makes you gay. Yeah, how is that a side effect? <laughs> Hypoglycemia. Yeah. My, my father probably wrote that. We'd all be uh, happy kidney problems, day, allergic honestly. reactions, gallbladder problems, and thyroid tumors or cancer. Mm. God damn, not worth it. Yeah. No, imagine, it's not worth that at all. Imagine being gay. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part of that side effect list. <laughs> it's, you, you get you get gay you're trying to lose weight <laughs> it's only skinny people that are that's gay that's what my father meant when I stopped said. eating bread but I keep sucking cocks <laughs> <laughs> they inject the gay in you <laughs> uh, yeah. there's always something in your mouth 24-7 non-stop but I'm telling you dude it's crazy how much if you intermittent fast like yeah. you, you have a couple hours a day that that's your eating window and yeah. then just cut out sugar and bread and eat anything eat meat veg, whatever the fuck you want just sugar and bread you cut out how fast you lose weight it's I, crazy I've been doing that my weight fluctuates it's been fluctuating since like the pandemic I was like 190 right before the pandemic hit. My lowest was like 157. Now I'm like 168, 167. Oh, I was I've, I've been losing weight the, the, these past like month, and like all the weight goes into my head. So like the more I lose weight, the less my fucking head is big. I have a smaller <laughs> head now. You, if you look back on like all the like previous like podcast appearances, you have a my, bigger face. My head's getting smaller <laughs> and smaller. <laughs> it's it's a mind fuck, man. I just have a giant fuck off head. I hate it. I but I know, know some posted a picture of me from like a few years ago, yeah. and my f everything is so much bigger. Like I, I Jesus Christ, a different person. It's uh, the, the, the you never gained weight, right? you? I, never been I have a high. I, this is the other reason why women hate me. No, um, yeah, I have a high metabolism, and I'm just bad at like remembering. I think I intermittently fast, but I don't not mean on purpose. To. Not on purpose. But also, like, I don't see you eat shit. I, I can, I, I ate Boostan at like 1 a.m. last night. Yeah, but that's like, like a, a rarity. It's not, you're not doing it all the time. Like, uh, you know what I mean? I, I walk a lot too. I walk, at, at, at being poor is great for, for your walking, health man. sometimes because you walk everywhere. You probably don't eat enough, but yeah, I've just, I don't know. I'm active and I have a natural high metabolism. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. The, I won't hate you. <laughs> you make a good point, though. Like, can you like have a, like a list of all the women that hate you in this? No, I don't think they do yeah. anymore. It was just like, yeah, was I like want to see this list. <laughs> it was like a thing. I don't even. I don't know. I don't think it's a thing. I hope it's not a thing That's anymore. So but. fucking funny. <laughs> and the reason why next to it, it's only fat comics, and the reason is you're thin. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the I, humor. I think about like all the times I've been like anxious about this or that comedy related and it's like it's tenfold by women it's just uh, everything i'm feeling is just like 
quadrupled with like if you were a woman con- yeah because yeah. if you like emotions and all the hormones and stuff be like more insane more fucking and <laughs> and like you're actually like i'm sorry if i'm like asking you questions no no i don't like, mind i don't mind because like i like i'm so caught like this is why i'm bad like when i'm doing like when i'm at a show whatever it is i'm so in my fucking head oh me too me too i just zone out all i know is you're autistic and you have a smelly apartment that's all i (laughs) have gathered i am i don't even know if i'm actually autistic right right i i you're autistic i'm gonna fucking i I do but here's the thing as i studied it and i've done those tests and it says and no. I don't score. I think I have a lot of social anxiety, which can make me maybe come across of, uh, as autistic. So you're I, a low functioning autist. I have ADHD. I am also just so. I think so. Autism used to be like considered like male brain. Not that I'm a dude, but there's just like th- like I learned. My dad yeah. taught me to count when I was an infant, so I was yeah, very smart. good at math. And, and I'm just good at things that. Get linked with Other autism? signs of autism. Uh, I'm you a wanna... little weird. I am. Why is gay on the list again? <laughs> <laughs> gay people are autistic. God yeah. damn it! But they... Where are you getting these lists? Yeah. I have been vaccinated, so maybe I'm not. No. Um... They do love trains. They're pretty. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> As a Jew, da, I'm da, not da, the da, biggest da, fan da. of trains. Um, oh but... no, you're not. That's it. That's, that's, it yeah. balances out. No, but I, but I, I'm, I'm just. I don't know what. I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah, I'm quiet at shows. Um, Can I just say something? The first one pisses me off. A common side of autism. Finding it hard to understand accuracy. what others are thinking or feeling. That's literally, I study. But a lot of people, no I one's a mind on, reader. Yeah, yeah. The feeling, I can understand, but the thinking is a little okay, absurd. Do you wanna, yeah. Here, do you want to do a test for autism? This is like in my thesis, in my PhD thesis. But we, well, Do you know what I'm thinking right now? Um, so... Uh, you're thinking you autistic cunt, you autistic whore, get off my show. No, I'm not um, thinking that because you're an autist. If you weren't, no, you would have yeah. read my mind. Yeah, no, no, there's a, <laughs> so it's actually, so Sasha Baron Cohen, his cousin, Simon Baron Cohen is a psychologist and he created a test for autism. It's called reading the mind in the eyes. And you just see pe- pictures of people's eyes and you have to say what the emotion oh, they're expressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I actually score, I do very well at that. It's just that in a social situation, I don't like these Jewish mind games. So you have social anxi- anxiety. I have social anxiety. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. Um, but yeah. I think if you have a, 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 a large plethora of these signs, then oh, yeah, stop. you may- yeah, I'm definitely. I don't think I'm blunt I'm, or I'm number rude four. I'm number or not four. interested in other. Like, yeah, that's me. I'm number. Seeming I'm blunt, rude, or not interested in others without meaning to. That's I'm, me. I'm number three as well. I do. I do like to be Taking alone. Taking things sometimes. very literally. That's you and Guido. I don't take yeah. things. I get jokes. Why don't you calm down a bit? Why don't you? It's not a- <laughs> <laughs> I take. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, I, I definitely uh, don't have the same routine every day at all. Like, oh no, you're I, a nomad. I have no routine. I think autism is a hoax, man. Like, <laughs> I really, I'm with you on that. I think nobody's autistic. It was it was a hoax invented by. It's made up. Uh, open micers to yeah. have a. It is because it's interesting but. how much it's become a thing. Like I was study, I was kind of interested in this in grad school, and I studied it a bit, but it wasn't. And then suddenly, everybody on TikTok is autistic. Yeah. They, Oh, but yeah, and you got to, oh, they're oh, giving man. you the, oh, that's okay, the practice. Yeah, they give you the answer. This? I've done, I've like done, done this. Done I can't. All right, let's do it. Uh, I'm thinking panicked. Well, you're, it's highlighted. But. Oh, shit. Reading the mind. The oh. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so you know not, what? Not good attention to detail. <laughs> but, not autistic. But, okay, okay, it's just an example. Okay, okay. Yeah, go down. Uh, yeah hold on. Hold no, on I think that. the No, 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 open it up. The rest is normal. Yeah, they're not going to tell you the answer. I think I might remember. Oh, that was a test. Okay. Okay, this one. Uh, what do you think, P? I have four options. Yeah, yeah, you got to pick. <laughs> That's Claudio's it, eyes. I, I think it's playful. I think, I, playful I think you're. Too. If I remember, you're right. I think it's playful too. Uh, I think uh, it's. What, what? Oh, this one's uh, terrified. I think it's upset. I, I don't remember the answer, but I would go with upset. I would go with we, sad. We, find, so let's go we, upset. we need yeah. one where we can get the answers. Maybe they're all at the end. Yeah. Okay. This one. There's 36. Desire. Yeah, desire. Yeah. Finna fuck. She's, she, she's a dirty whore. I can tell just by her <laughs> yeah. eyes. Yeah. She's got a whore eyes. <laughs> uh, this one is insistent. Uh, yeah. I feel, I feel yeah. it. Yeah, and and that's George hasn't said anything. I think he doesn't know how to tell eyes. I'm looking at... um. This one? 
This guy looks like me before I do a oh, set. Oh, worried. Yeah. This one's worried. Worried. Irritated. Sir, irritated. All the women are ho- all the women are like fantasizing. Yo, that's some sexy <laughs> ass eyes, but I don't know what the rest yeah. of her face looks like, but she's eyes. Oh, yeah, she's fine as fuck. This she's is like because it's probably for men with autism who've never looked a woman, like a hot woman in the eye before, so they get- I think yeah. it's fantasizing. Oh, it's fantasizing. all- I feel like all the women once they were like, they have a lot of makeup and they're all kind of sexual, if I remember. I like this guy. Uneasy. Uh, yeah. Uneasy, uneasy. Yeah, you could tell from the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm. I can't tell anything anymore. This guy looks shy. This guy, no. Uh, it's the angle too. Despondent. I would, I would say. say yeah. yeah. What does He's, despondent mean? Oh, there's also if so if you're Poseidon, uh, they give you a piece of paper with all the definitions of the words Aww. as well. They, the only reason could, I said despondent is because he doesn't seem like any of the other ones, and I understand. Well, he could be coming. <laughs> 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 they could all be coming, honestly. Oh, uh, this Gosh. one looks. Preoccupied. I was gonna say yeah. or annoyed. I was gonna say annoyed. Yeah, arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are harder. Arrogant <laughs> whore. <laughs> the Clint Eastwood. Let's fucking go. Hmm. Cautious. Bored. I was gonna say right? aghast. You don't even yes. know what aghast means. I, but it, I, I don't feel. The yeah, other I three, say cautious. I yeah, say cautious. cautious. Me too. Look at these eyes. Terrified, regretful. Oh, regretful. Regretful, yeah. yeah. Regretful. What about flirtatious? It could be flirty. <laughs> nah, it's only the women are the flirty ones. In the, yeah. Um, Yo, how many pairs of eyes we got to go through? Go all the way down? Japanese. Skeptical. Definitely skeptical. Yeah, Does it give you the answers? Go all the way down. Go all the way down. There's probably a better test a where you shy. get the answer. Okay, yeah, go. well, let's not go through all 36. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's oh just like, go all 36? the way down. That's yeah, what see I told it, you guys. Oh, see if it gives okay, us the okay, answer. Okay, okay, okay. Playful. So the first one we got. Panicked. What did we say? We did say playful. We did say playful. And all I think right. we said upset. Uh, desire. desire. We said that. Yeah. Insisting. We said that. Yeah, I said that. We, we're, yeah, we're look. We get it. We, I so, think we're so not, we're not high level autistes. We're we're just we're just we're just retards. We're yeah, neurodivergent. That, I think that's the correct ways. way of putting yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the correct. That's the medical term. What are your <laughs> your eyes are like uh, aghast right now? You have aghastful eyes. Thank you. What is it? Ga- like like you're taken back? Like I'm a ga- I'm a gust. I thought it's like we're erect. Aghast. Filled I'm aghast with an erection. <laughs> it's like you're gasping. Like <gasps> I'm aghast. Oh my. <laughs> You're horrified uh, by your erection. Oh man! No, it's kind of like a gas is more like, like a sudden shock. Like, yeah, <gasps> yeah. Yes, we're like, oh, I'm a gust. Oh my god! Like a gust of wind. Yeah, yeah, a gas. Yeah, Does it say gassed. filled with? Oh, filled with horror shock. Yeah, I, I am uh, horror. filled with a <laughs> gas. Horror oh, he's shock. filled with gas. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he's Pumba from the oh. Tamun and Pumba, The Lion King. Oh, that new mermaid movie, The Little Mermaid, apparently sucks. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, they made like Sebastian the crab look like a mutant. Oh, and, shit. And it's live action, right? It's it's live action, yeah, okay. like half live action, half. Ugh. Live action, black people. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh yeah, it's true. Uh, the The original controversy was because she was black, and then they're like, yeah. okay, people got over it, and then the movie sucked. <laughs> so I will say one thing. Look, Disney. I obviously Pantel's comedy is nowhere near as big as Disney, but quality wise, we're way better. <laughs> uh, but I will give you some advice. If you're gonna do this holier than now shit and trade, you know, do the race swap thing and try to virtue signal. For the love of God, make it a good movie. You just fuck this little girl over. And don't make it the ginger. Make it the blonde girl. (laughs) But she had so much shit on the internet. So much on the internet because they changed it. And then people were like, you know what? I heard she's a good singer. People started complimenting. Maybe this is going to be good. And then you make a shit movie for her. Yeah, that's shitty. Make the movie good or don't make it at all. Yeah. 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 I saw something interesting is that when, when people are trying to like replace... Uh, white actors for black actors, mm. they go for like the redheads, the ginger. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because we're, we're the, we're again, we've said this many times, you know, mix yeah. the letters around in ginger. Next week yeah. you could be or, black. Who fucking knows? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. comfort zone. Next week you could be, you could be black. Who fucking yeah. knows? They come to comfort zone and it's preach. It's race and sex swap. I want, I want a black woman just on the panel just to watch David and go, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, David's sex poetry is amazing. <laughs> oh fuck, man! You, I love I, that. Are you realizing what we're building? Like a hate crime, or like I'm, no, no, not really even me gotta, never gotta being be, employable. I, no, I love the show. It's like I my favorite go. thing. But <laughs> it is crazy. I love what's happening there. I love it, but I'm like, I'm never getting a day job, am I? But that's because you refuse to apply. No, I that's apply to things. I. I do. I'm not. I think your position is good on comfort zone. You're not like yeah. eating shit or like shoving up. You know, I'm trying, like, yeah, I try to just 
jump like in you're, every. Your, your position is just to watch the the mess that is uh, the comfort zone where the people get shocked and Michelle's you, getting drunk, was, yelling the n word. P- p- Poseidon, <laughs> you gotta like. I think you gotta like stick to like maybe one or two syllables because anything more than two syllables, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. Yeah, but when you yell stuff out, more, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause cause the shorter the, the better. I yeah, because of the echo. Yeah. No, no, but also the shorter the better because you 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 lose yourself and you go. How did that, 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 that. You start yeah, losing stuff, but yeah, go, go straight. He, yeah, because I hear the echo and it fucks with me. It so, gets, just so it doesn't matter the reason. It gets you're arguing silly. something you shouldn't argue. He's actually 100 percent right. Go one word and cut cut deep. It yeah. gets silly because then it's just like. Uh, so I was visiting my grandma today. Rape, 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 rape. Like, <laughs> 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 it gets silly. He's right once, bam, rape, and then he's like, "What the fuck?" I, I, I like that Claudio shock. Oh fuck, man! I have Claudio. Claudio man. could get a day job. You're fine. <laughs> I can't speak real. French. I'm gotta, terrible. Not, Claudio can't speak English. <laughs> what? What's like? Where, how is Claudio born? What? Uh, what? What does Claudio see? Like, what does he see? Like, who? What? What? Like, what do you? <laughs> When, when, when he wakes up from his like Italian nest, does he like go out and like eat cereal from a bowl and like like what? Well, what do you eat cereal out of? A, a bowl. I eat cereal. I'm just I worry. mental retardation and I global worry. perception. What? No, Google mental retardation in Italians. It's a it's a study they did back in 2005. <laughs> <laughs> they studied one Italian from San Leonardo. Yeah, I worry about Claudio. I really do because he's like really. You know, I worry. I worry about Claudio because he's like. I don't think he knows where. Like, I think like his, he works at a movie theater. He's living the dream. He wears yeah, wears leather jackets. We gotta get his his Firefly oh. DVDs back for him. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, Poseidon. You we gotta get his DVDs. Do it. Maybe like oh, yeah, torrent. True. Maybe like give him a torrent on a USB or something. Wait, check Amazon. How much is it to buy the season? Yeah, should we just buy what's it for the, him? What's the What's the show? Firefly. That's I haven't, I haven't seen that show yet. But that's a good show. That's such a specific odd fucking thing that a woman would like. You know. Steal from a man is his Firefly DVD. Would you ever do missionary work just in Montreal amongst the comedians and bring them? It's like uh, twenty six dollars. Okay, I'm gonna order it tonight, bro. I'm just gonna bring um, it to next week. Would I Complete do missionary series. work? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna buy it Wait, and I'm gonna bring it to him as a gift. Needs more help, Cubans. Do you or think he wants DVD or Blu-ray in the city? Uh, think- get it, Blu-ray. It's three dollars more. Yeah, I just hope he has a Blu-ray player because if I give this one on Blu-ray and the cocksucker goes, what's a Blu-ray? I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, is this all the seasons though? Yeah, yeah there's only one season. Yeah, oh, there's only one it. season? Yeah, I'll buy him the season and the movie. What's yeah. this about? It's a sci-fi television show. Yeah, and space. So for context, you talked about this on Comfort Zone last night. Click and subscribe. Like, I'm trying to be good at social media. Uh, Claudio's ex- Stole like cheated on him and stole, never it, gave him his, his Firefly, Firefly DVD, DVD back. and so stole we, his face cream. No. Oh yeah, his, his face, face wash, wash his cleanser. Yeah. She, yeah, she cheated on him with a black guy, which is what he gets for calling them eggplants. Yeah, that's, isn't that rude? That's karma. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that. Which part don't you know about? The eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> that's his thing yeah he's crazy so, but to answer your question i think uh cubans more because like if i help out comics in montreal then they run out of material because their lives are so good if i ah. if, if i get them that extra like pair of jeans or sweaters they're fucked they can't they can't showcase anymore they're fucked <laughs> they need their lives must I, be we, I know what a dvd looks like you don't have to show me hey here's <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is compact disc. Because it's a review with images. So I just, I was like. Who? I'm looking at my lips a lot right now. I feel like I l- a joker. I like that the guy put images. Look, go up. Yeah, He's like, do you, is genuine plastic cover? That's, that's what I found weird. Too. Real compact <laughs> discs. That's what I found strange. I was like, why is he putting? Yeah. It smells <laughs> like plastic. <laughs> I like how you give it three stars, and he's looking. He's showing something physical. He's like, "The series is very good. The plastic, low quality, cheap shit." And he put, he put the, he put the fucking look. He's holding it. Yeah. He didn't set it down. No, he's like, he's. Oh he, no, this is one star. Boring. Yeah, all oh, this is. What does it say? Order received is not what I asked for. Which is supposed to be the 15th anniversary edition. Instead, I got a regular edition for fifty nine ninety nine. What a nerd. That's that's Claudio. Yeah. <laughs> There's, uh, there's a thrive one. special edition. Give me a regular edition. I'm a special kind of guy. <laughs> Firefly. That's such a specific fucking thing. Is there pictures of Claudio and his girlfriend? I still don't believe him. I don't know. Well, I think he would have deleted them uh, since you he's. You see what I mean? There's no proof of this woman's existence. Did he give us a name? 
Is you this think, all a ruse to get us to buy him Firefly? Like, is he actually that's he's a what genius? This is? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Look, look up Claudio's Instagram. I love the guy. If he if he if he had a woman, I don't think he's him, lying. You don't think he's lying? I'll tell you why I don't think he's lying. It's too much effort to lie. But he did it last night. He he fooled you. He tricked you all. About what? what? About having a woman. No, no, he has a woman. He has, a, he has a girlfriend right now. There's pictures he of him and his girlfriend. girlfriend right now. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. I can't comprehend Claudio. I think we need to like free him. I think him and Vance need to go back to New York. We need to free them both. Are they both from New York? No, but Claudio's going to need, we need to put him back in the wild where he belongs. <laughs> New Jersey. Free. Jersey. Free. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, wow. There she yeah, is. Don't put that on the. Don't on the, the, on the, on the no, I'm not. This, I'm yeah, not okay. Not. Yeah, this is. But yeah, of course he does. Oh, it's my her, it's God. His girlfriend, yeah. Yeah. He was a cute kid. Look at him. That's a that's a delicious child. Look at that. Yeah, that is a, I will <laughs> <laughs> I will say he does look like the <laughs> Can you spell the words right now? Like, no. Is that's that the words you were gonna use, Poseidon? You're like delicious. No, not delicious, but I was gonna say he looks like the perfect uh, What if you bleep out delicious? That's a bleep child. <laughs> that's a beep, and then Poseidon's like, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> 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 Let's put him together. Let's do it together. Put, get this away from me. I oh. can't. I'm, I'm what? playing with it. Okay. I'm fucking I'm just, Let's yeah. try and go really far back. When, how long was it. this? No, bro. He doesn't. You, this is some weird stalking shit that you're doing. That's true. That's yeah. true. stalking I, Claudio. I, I personally believe that he wouldn't have made that up with the, with the whole DVD thing and all that. I think he did have a girlfriend. I think she cheated on him, but I think there's something he's not telling us. Like, mm. I think I think if he told us the reason, we'd be like, oh, I agree with her. That's so. Do you guys talk about like because that like that he you know told a joke on stage about it? Do you guys talk about? Well, you probably clearly don't, but do you talk about real things like yeah. from your okay? Hold on. How did pause. you not know this? Pause. Because I on. don't. Why not me? Why no, well, because I real it's things. real things. Like you're like that's my son. There's my wife. That whore. Like yeah, that, real things. No, like no, but I mean it's not. It's very funny, but it's not. <laughs> oh yeah, I talk about real things. But yeah, I would, okay. that woman is actually there. <laughs> uh, <when laughs> that's I, true. When I say like it's I, that's that's my black son. Like that's the real. That's, yeah. that's true. Okay. Yeah. okay. Real things. <laughs> <laughs> real thing. I feel so dehumanized. <laughs> <laughs> Are you real? No, no, I'm it's not very fun. It's not. It is. It's, it's just. It's interesting. Like if I went on stage and I was like, oh, oh I was cheated on or what? Like I'd be making it up. Like I wouldn't. Yeah. Well, oh. no, because you didn't get cheated on. But if, oh, I've been cheated on. But okay. if I had a joke about that, it would be a different. Like it would. How be do you know? Because the situation maybe yours wasn't funny. His is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. For example, the house now. The apart from hell, there's a lot of jokes in that. But I don't. The mall saw it's hard to talk about real things. It's hard to talk about it right now because you're in that shithole. Yeah. You're moving next month. I'm moving next month. The second you have distance from that hellhole, bam, the jokes are coming. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> I think so. What if we just do the podcast just by writing on like pieces of paper in silent and pass it around? <laughs> <laughs> and people have to guess with our reactions guess, what we're talking yeah, about. Like what if we just do that for like the next like thirty minutes? Yeah, but it's gonna take God. it's gonna take three minutes, and the paper's gonna get filled with the n word. <laughs> what, if, what if we just like do a group chat and just text each other <laughs> for the next thirty minutes in silence and then laugh and chuckle? <laughs> Let's just do that. I mean, Fuck that, it, bro. Let's just do that. Most Genius. comedy podcasts in a way. Yeah. On there, I can't. You know what? I think. I think. Like you know, I, I probably said this before, but like this, those podcasts where they interview all these like uh, women, where they try to they like make fun of them and belittle them with like douchebags and stuff. Like, oh, you had me. You had me at making fun of women. What show is that? Like, 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 like fresh and fit. Like like those. Oh. Like, Oh, yeah, it's not. A, yeah, I don't, don't, it's like that. The image of that going on has like ruined the idea of like podcast? me putting on a pair of headphones and talking to a microphone. I just, it's just so like. Y you ever seen those nice. clips online where it's like every second or third clip online is like uh, two dudes and like, yo, listen, bitch, why don't you want to work like a man or what? Shit like, yeah, so that's taken over the internet a lot. So a lot of people who weren't exposed to podcasts think that oh, podcast. Think it's just like people shitting on women. Yeah, <laughs> they think that podcast is like, yo, you're going to work as hard. You're going to make as much money, bitch. Why you got to have a baby? Like shit like that. Just, just like shitting or on like, like crypto baby. bros and all yeah. that. Yeah. Shitting on like four baby mamas at, at once. <laughs> like just bring on Andrew Tate to shit on them as well. <laughs> like this tag team shitting on like all these baby mamas. Have no idea, like what's they're like more like retarded yeah. than Claudio. They yeah, have no you, idea. You want freedom? Then why'd you get your ass pregnant? Why'd you get your ass pregnant? <laughs> just like, yelling, it's, it's just yelling at women. And like, I, I've just met you. Yeah. You're about to meet the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. And, it is uh, ridiculous. 
I, I see. A, I've noticed too. There's feuds now, like Ethan Klein and uh, Asan. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Habibi. Whatever the fuck his Sam name is. Pike or, oh, that guy. Yeah, the Turkish guy. Now, they're feuding man. with Abba and Preach. What? And, uh, uh, Over what? Uh, they hate Abba and Preach. Especially Ethan Klein hates Abba. That speaking of like, they that, called him out on a lot of shit. So he put up a video, and I was watching. And I was like, these two are retarded. Ethan Klein started threatening. Goes, I haven't, uh, you know, I let them slide. They don't want to go to war with me. They don't want to go to war with me. He's like, oh my god, you dumb fuck. They will bury you because you're wrong. I feel bad about the whole H. Because did you ever watch him back? Like back in the day, he was a cool dude. Back in the day, he turned to a lunatic. I think that's why. Like also, podcasting is just like ruins a lot of comedy because people like. Is H three and like I dubs? They used to be like such great content creators. Yeah. Everybody loved them, but then like I don't know H 3s case is like I don't know who I dubs is, but I, I knew H three. Yeah, uh, I think I dubs is a different case, but like H a different case, but like H three like is such a great content creator. I yeah, he, he seemed like a nice dude. He's not funny. Yeah. His wife there, they were get, and then he just turned into some like holier than thou asshole. It was L A. L A. and podcasting just like destroyed. Oh, his maybe brain. yeah. And then there's this guy because it was uh, the podcast back then was also great too. Yeah, I, dude, I tell you, I liked him. Yeah, Abba. and then he just started shitting on black guys all the time, and all, like Are it was they, just weird. Is Abbott pretty still in Montreal? Or still? Yep. that's fucking. Well, yeah. That's pretty sick, actually. I like that. Yeah, oh, still doing it. I, I, I've seen them like once in a blue moon, once in a rare six, like four. Like I saw them like like once or twice. Well, Preach still performs there. Abba was in and out, but yeah, I, I guess yeah. he's busy, dude, because he's making videos like multiple times a week. Yeah, I gotta edit that shit, get it out. I also see the uh, the uh, I don't know like the hypocrisy of like saying like podcasting is ruining people's comedy while on a podcast right now. <laughs> no, no, but you're not saying every podcast no. is. But you're saying podcasting is. It is what, true. What if I turn on you right now? You could turn on me. <laughs> <laughs> what if I turn on you right now? <laughs> I got Poseidon. <laughs> Most alpha move to turn on. You. Like, listen, motherfucker, <laughs> your podcast has ruined more lives than the Holocaust. Uh, Deal with it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, podcasting, I, you, you know what it is? The internet gave everyone a voice. Yeah. Yeah. And then some people are not prepared to handle, like some people, they get behind a microphone and it's just, like, let's say Hitler, for example. Before that, he was All on right. that podium. He probably would have been a great, I mean, terrible human and saying terrible, but he would have had a, he would have been a great podcaster, not a, no, yeah, no, but did like, you hear, like, no, but did you hear before this. the podium? That's, like before that's, that's coming from a Jew No, no, well. no, I'm not, not, wait, like, like an, like, what's a guy, Andrew Tate, yeah. was, like a terrible person, but Andrew he would Tate's have, not a terrible person, he's he, just bald. I don't really know this he's guy, but I just, I, I don't follow. Jesus not, Christ. He's just a bald man. No, it's not, I don't. I don't know. But I'm saying is that Hitler would be good at podcasting for a specific type of horrible human being. Right? No, no, no that's not what I was trying to say. What I was trying to say, which you're right. You're yeah. 100% right. He'd probably be awesome uh, at podcasting. No, no, no. Please hire me. Yeah. What, what I'm saying is Hitler. If you look at like before he took the podium, right? The stuff that he would, he was like, uh, he had these socialist ideas, and he was trying to be an artist, but it was shit, whatever. And then the second you put a mic in front of him. So go kill these fucking Jews. Yeah. So some people you put a mic in front of them, mm -hmm. and you see the real them, and they're lunatics. Some other like we've had people here. I remember there was a guy that was like pushing. He's like, we gotta start a podcast together. We gotta do a podcast. And I was like, it's gonna suck. I could already tell you're not gonna be good behind the mic. Remember this Poseidon? We brought yeah, him in, yeah, and he, yeah, yeah. dude, you understand? As soon as we click record, this is what happened. So, so yeah. Oh, uh, you, you're. And, and I was like, dude, we. We're talking. Just talk normal. Like, yeah. Hold on. You're forgetting to do the hat with the movements of the chair back and forth. Oh, the, 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 the it was just anyways yeah, awkward. Yeah, yeah. Some people. Do you need the pen? Or you, no, no. <laughs> you, it doesn't. It doesn't matter who he is. The, the, just the point. The moral of this is that some people, uh, the microphone exposes them. You know, they go crazy. And Ethan, that's what happened to him. He, the more he fucking got popular, he just started fucking fighting with everyone. It was fucking crazy. Is it also? I'm not. I never listen. I don't, I'm not super familiar. Is it also? I feel like I kind of notice that living in LA, there's you know people kind of pretend they have a certain political view. It or, might be like, that to like advance their in. own career, and it's all performative. I love, uh, I love the mystery of LA. Like I read some stuff in like in the '60s. It exists. A real place. I've been. Uh, what, what LA? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh no! Like. Uh, because up in like the Laurel Laurel Canyon, Laurel, yeah, hills, yeah. Was like, like the like, door, like yeah. the CIA writing yeah. music forever. Yeah, yeah. What? Like Manson was a fucking C CIA like occult shit, LSD experiment. Dude, man, yeah, you know about Charles Manson? Manson? You yeah. know about the shit? I walked by the the house where it happened. Uh, that you, you look like one of Manson's followers. You honestly. do look like yeah, you have a Manson's follower You're vibe. Gonna kill Sharon Tate. And <laughs> yeah. Why are you gonna take her baby? Roman Plansky into a pedophile. That's all you. Right? I would to I would be totally the sort of person that would like find like I would never uh, murder anyone or but I would. I feel like if I knew Charles Manson, I'd be yeah, like, he's, he's right just there. a lost soul. 
You know, like right I'd there. find empathy. Right yeah, yeah. Sing beach music together <laughs> and kill the elites. What's but the, uh, he was part of MK Ultra. Yeah, MK Ultra. That's the, the whole yeah. mission. Now, now it's like a place filled with like awful. We did it here people. too in McGill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Montreal. The, the connection. Did you know that shit? I know the yeah the the connection of like Montreal and like. <clears throat> all the conspiracy theories in America, like it's usually like in fucking Montreal. Like, yeah, like we're, the, we're uh, that's black, what I'm talking. Black, black male MK Ultra. I don't cool know. Cool shit, bro. It's cool. Yeah, it's a Heritage Minute. Yeah. <laughs> it's the be- it's the sickest Heritage Minute. Yeah, we, <laughs> we would sickest. kidnap people and fuck with their brains. I wonder about doing like Heritage Minute bits, but I always like to get this scared because like that's like to me that's like I can't. It's kind of like cheesy and corny. You know, we should do Heritage Minute, uh, legit like production value videos. Heritage yeah. Minute of shit like this and. Put in less commercials mm-hmm. online. Your Canadian or like heritage the real, minute. like what that's we why actually the, did. The shit we that's actually did. Yeah, the yeah, actual yeah, shit yeah, as a yeah, heritage yeah. minute. So then people are trying to argue, be like, dude, this is what really happened. Yeah. Like the MK Ultra thing is fucked up. So Charles Manson, you know about MK Ultra? You're in the psych uh, department. Yeah, but not not, not clinical social. What do you think? I of just this? show people pictures of eyes and <laughs> talk to them about <laughs> rejection and their relationship with their parents and their pro- yeah. yeah. But do you agree? Because right. they also, you know, they also made the Unabomber. Yes. Okay, so you know well, about Or this wait, stuff. wait, Ted Kaczynski, he was, wasn't he like a math professor? Yeah, yeah. and they did MKUltra uh, tests on him. They were doing, uh, they, they fucked with his head when he was in school. Okay, yeah. They even uh, fucked with him so much that they had a letter. It was a fake one because they were trying to fuck with him from his mom, but it wasn't real, saying how he's a piece of shit and she doesn't want to see him and they should, what? and it fucked with his head. They kept yeah. fucking messing with this guy and then he hated everything. He hated the government. Have you ever read his manifesto? I have not. I'll put that on my Makes a lot list. of great points. <laughs> Makes a lot of great points in there. Uh, he doesn't talk about killing. Basically, what he talks about is like destroying the machine. Okay, I feel like, you know, I think I read the Wikipedia article about the manifest and was like, you know what? I feel like in a different time, me and Ted Kaczynski would have yeah. gone on. Like, we would have been he just talks like those guys, technology is getting fucking I out of hand. I could have changed him. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Science getting out of fucking hand. could have been your yeah. project. Like <laughs> oh, man. He Ted. made some good points. Tech is he insane. wasn't a dumb guy. Yeah, no, he's like a math genius. And, and, and yeah. we, but he yeah. turned into that. And now we have a uh, yeah. He God turned damn. into uh, yeah. He still looks pretty pretty cool, you know. Clean him up. Looks like he's in a punk band. <laughs> uh-huh. He looks, <laughs> yeah, man. Just another guy in a, in a shack in a shed. Ted Tech Kaczynski was was right. I'm pretty sure because now, as a result of technology, we have. Uh, podcast where they just talk shit to baby mamas <laughs> and talk shit about him <laughs> yeah no but he was talking about technology what's happening how the that. government is everywhere how the, like he made a lot of great points that yeah, people he, echo today what? just his strategy of getting attention was the worst what, what is the what is the political ideology of this podcast are we left wing are we right wing i can go I think we're, way. We're well this, this guy's super left i guess but it's not this it doesn't really have a wing because if it are makes we, sense on the right, we'll, we'll we go with it. If it makes yeah. sense on the left, we'll go with it. I don't, I don't like the wings. Because if you wings. take a wing, you have to adopt everything in that wing. Yeah, and that's, they're all retards. It's retards. crazy to uh, wholly agree, like see, uh, just fully agree with one person or one It's too culty for me. It's too culty. Like, I don't cult. like being part of a cult. All right. I like being free. You got to change, you know? You got to be like, this is good, that's bad. I, he, I he, you're wearing an events sevenfold. Sweater. So you think I'm leaning left, but then she was talking I mean, about how awesome Hitler would be no, if he no, was no, around no, right no, now. I'm so that's super left. And then, <laughs> oh, I was By saying the way. that he would be good at getting a following on a podcast. But you are correct. Uh, the the circle of politics, right? Why it's yeah. hard. Why you should never pick one is because the deeper you go into one, you're gonna end up in the same totalitarian place. And World War Two proved it because you had yeah. uh, Italy, which ended up being super totalitarian right wing. And they had the Nazis, which were su- the socialist, super left wing totalitarian. They met, they became friends, yeah. tried to take over the world. Yeah. Man, yeah. You gotta be careful with these cocksuckers, bro. <clears throat> Not good. I like the, I like the Japan meme. Japan was imperialist. Japan was imperialist, which is super right wing uh, like totalitarianism. Like the Crazy meme. trifecta. I like the meme of like calling Hitler a socialist. That's, I, that's funny to me. That's his, that's his thing. He was the national socialist, bro. That's the socialist. He called yeah. himself that. Okay. And he did. It was all about uh, socialism. It's like it's everything for the greater good, the good of the nation, the good of this. The good. You don't exist. You're just part of the party. Yeah, there's you know there's there's actually like no one really pays attention to this. And there was a thing in like in, in the Middle East, Syria, and Lebanon, but you had like Syrian national socialists. You had like Syrian Nazis, Lebanese everywhere. Nazis. Yeah, everywhere, nobody, everywhere. Nobody, yeah. nobody like they're like a big part. It's like, so stupid. Time in those countries too, man. 
But uh, I love I love the Ted Kaczynski memes that I see on Instagram. It be just like oh, I haven't Ted seen any. Yeah, what? There's, Your there's, there's Unabomber doing. memes that always get me laughing every time I oh, see. Oh God them. damn! I want to get that algorithm. <laughs> Dude, my algorithm is fucked, man. It's Yu Gi Oh, Ted Kaczynski, fucking memes, and just like and just like models trying to spam my algorithm, man. Yo, I get models. I mean? They're trying to <laughs> infiltrate. <laughs> Fucking look at look, look at a meme. Oh, there goes on Halloween versus me on Halloween. <laughs> look, look at these all these. Put these memes on the fucking pod. Share them right now. Well, I don't remember these until they're after. Pretty, they're pretty good memes. Like, they're, right pretty, right. they're pretty good memes. That's man. funny. Oh uh, man. Uh, on the way out here on the metro, I saw I saw like a Hispanic child just look at fucking Instagram models on his phone. Just hot chicks. <laughs> just hot chicks on his phone, and I looked at his face, and it's like he probably could get some. Like, why are you why are you doing this? Oh, like dude? he's a handsome kid. Yeah, like well, he wasn't. This is the thing about you. You're taking it too literal. He wasn't looking at it because he can't get chicks. He was just on his phone scrolling, and there was asses in his face. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like, but it's like it's impolite to do that on a public. I have to like conceal it or hide it, but I could literally like I'm tired. I kind of like I respect this kid. Like to have the balls yeah. to just like look like do that uh, in public. I fear yeah. I fear for that, and people in the city all look like fucking cyberpunk characters. Man, they all look fucking insane. It's true. Yeah, it's do, true. do you notice that? Yeah, man, yeah, it's look, uh, it's getting it's, weirder wait, and weirder. Like already Montreal, I found was a bit weird and wacky. Yeah, and like, see what I mean? It's crazy, man. And then like, uh, uh, even after the pandemic, I see people dressed like it's like it's in a video game. It's not even yeah. It like it's just the only like normal people are like immigrants coming in here from like Pakistan. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Normal people, they, yeah, they like, just want to come work. Like, dude, yeah. like I I see like in Park X now because of the university. Yeah, like I see immigrants. In, in robes, looking at other people like, dude, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with this dude? You know, what like, do you mean? Like they're wearing like, like uh, you know, they're wearing like, <laughs> they're wearing, they're wearing like, like not non traditional shit we'd wear in the Western world. They're wearing non traditional shit. No, but you know what I mean. And then and then they'll. Yo, you're not gonna believe this. These fucking motherfuckers are still wearing Fubu. No, no, but you know. And then they'll. W <laughs> <laughs> Yo, change with the times, dog. <laughs> and some guys, dude with yeah. like fucking uh, fluorescent green hair will walk by and he'll be dressed like insane. And then they'll be like, like, what the fuck Stuff is wrong with? They're the right ones, a hundred percent. You know what I feel like we're dressing more as? You remember the children? Movies? Children. I, I dress like I look at me. I'm a child like, right got, now. Oh, where I've got like heart. These are my only sunglasses. Okay. Like that, yeah. So you remember the movies back in the day when they would show the future, and the p people would have different color hair and weird like leather. Like one arm would be out exposed, the other one is like all these weird. Now that's actual fashion. Oh, oh yeah. It's like yeah, we're yeah, dressing like memes. In L in L A, you'd see like forty year olds like dressed like high schoolers. I would go. I mean, I still do That's it now. Weird. I would walk around in pajamas because I don't give a fuck. I've so you think this whole podcast people, is I, meant for you to talk shit about Brendan Schaub? Wait, what? Oh, you think that's I, all oh, this is? Does he wear pajamas? I, I did, oh, yeah, these an adult man dressing like a child adult. all the time. Is that what you think? We're just gonna make fun of Brendan Schaub all day. Is I mean, that I what you think? I feel like there's enough is? podcasts already doing. You better that. calm down. Oh fuck, Debra. A silly defend your boy. This isn't cool. Brendan Schaub. I think, yeah. I think it's gonna get so wacky with fashion <laughs> that. Uh, eventually, dressing normal will be like avant garde but or some shit. Not avant garde, but people are like you're but not dressing, cool. Then that actually, that's the the Gen Gen Z, the Gen Zers dress. There is norm core. They dress like yeah, George Costanza. Yeah, there you go. It's already core. happening. It's norm core. Norm core. Silly. Yeah. We've that's gone a, full of retard. I think yeah. I think it's like Montreal. It's all like one third of the population here are cyberpunk characters. Yeah, <laughs> two, two thirds are like because there's this thing called like indie sleaze, and Montreal's still stuck in like indie sleaze. He knows what? the shit. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know any. I know of more shit. about. I know we're old. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I know about fashion and history and stuff. I, it's like, so what's yeah. normcore? I can't tell norm if George core. is like twenty or forty. Like it's very. He's it's, in between. No, I assume you're like I, I have no clue if you're young or not old, but I'm a I'm a I'm a 26 year old man. Interesting. I live in the apartment of that's owned by a 26 year old man. It's so. great. Same. Like the landlord is like a 31 year old man. Hey, this is how I, I like to. I'm a 26 year old like man. To. I love how wacky this show is getting. 26 this year is, old man. I mean, I coming like to, at you. I like to dress a bit more like like this, but I got to lose weight first. You know? This is norm core. This is like no. This is like old money shit. Oh yeah, this money is money. Yeah, that's not what we're looking at. We're yeah, trying to look at norm, norm core. core is fucking like, Poseidon, bro. With New this stupid Balance shoes, fanny packs. If I see people, beige. if I see people wearing that shit in a comedy club, I'm gonna fucking kill all of them, dude. I'm oh, I have seen people dress like this uh, with the big jeans. Yeah, norm core is the Larry mom jeans. They yeah. wear them all, like yeah, on top the of the belly button. The 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 old money shit. If I see people dressed up like old money shit, I'm gonna kill all of them. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> shit, I have seen people like dress like this. Hands. Yeah, this is like young people dress like this. Young yeah, people like, look old. It's ASAP Rocky. Click on ASAP Rocky real quick. On the right, on the right. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you yeah, go. Oh yeah, I dress like this sometimes too. Yeah, yeah I've seen you dress like that. It's crazy. Yeah. You're like ASAP. Yeah, the blackface though is a bit much. I'm ASAP <laughs> food, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's ASAP Rocky. A- a- ASAP pizza. ASAP <laughs> clogged arteries. ASAP <laughs> <laughs> <A-sap> clog. ASAP <laughs> clog. Go down. Some of the, so, some of it looks nice. Yeah. Fuck, black guys look cool in this, but I don't know. The white guys look weird. Yeah, black people look Black people uh, can pull anything off. Well, this this dude looks normal. Yeah, that right. guy looks like he's working normal. Well, the guy on the left looks this, insane. This Go guy up. looks normal, Go too. Oh, yeah, left? This guy yeah. looks completely... That's insane. Yeah, that's insane. He, I, I would, this <sighs> person looks like he's about to... It looks like he, he looks like he needs people to wipe his ass. That guy looks fucked. Yeah, yeah, he looks click, fucking click mentally unstable. Yeah, click on him. Click on him. He looks like a comfort zone... Oh my god! Uh, he looks like that's uh, awesome. Like yeah, he, I was about to say that. <laughs> and he's wearing like a weird communist shirt. What's going on? <laughs> oh, I love. I forgot. What is this? The, I forgot Dear to say Lord. that last night. But the roast battle between Michael and uh, and Pecker, like Michael would just come in like narrating, it's like come in narrating, like Pecker was born in the Soviet Union and has never felt the love of a woman before. <laughs> like he just come in narrating everything. <laughs> uh, uh, Pecker told me something that made me laugh so much is that he goes, "This motherfucker." Because you saw Pecker at the end got got completely um, like discombobulated when he called yeah. him by his real name. Yeah. And he goes, dude, I don't have my real name anywhere. I don't know where the little cocksucker got it. That's oh. why I fuck with his head. He's like, how the fuck did he I know didn't that? Even know, I don't know his real name. It was I like didn't... Valerium or some shit. It was like a complicated it's, it's name. It's the second time now. <laughs> so, 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 so he didn't know. So even me, I saw his face. I told him after. I go, I could tell that... It was like he shouldn't have known because of your reaction, because his reaction was off. And even me, I was like, "What the fuck? It doesn't sound anything like Pecker." So it was, uh, yeah. That's, That's crazy, why. man. God, sounds damn. like a Game of Thrones name, yeah. man. Yeah, he does have it. It is an epic name, but it's better he doesn't use it yet. You should use it when he becomes a big comic, and that would be a cool name. He's probably gonna get killed before that. <laughs> I'm serious. No, man. he's gonna be fine. Yeah, he's, he's, he'll be fine. Man. Go down. He's gonna die. Unless this, also, is, this is Norm Core. I'm down for hands. this. Well, you like fanny packs. I think we've. That's not norm core. That guy's wearing sweatpants. Norm core is fanny packs. I think you're making progress, beside and you're now like interracial couple. Yeah, good job. (laughs) (laughs) Guess who's coming to dinner? It's Poseidon again. That fat fucking piece of shit. (laughs) Why is he here all the time? Free food. Thank you for inviting me to the cookout. (laughs) (laughs) You you weren't invited. (laughs) (laughs) Ha ha! Always jokes. I love these black ladies. <laughs> I love George's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude! Uh, that's great, man. Oh that's fuck! Like a Poseidon's like it's adventures. Your wife. Uh, click on her. What? It's your wife. Click on her. Her? No. The no, no go, go right, right, I right. See what I'm pointing at. Right. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, no. Keep uh, going. No. Why am I pointing? I was out there. What? Yeah, I don't no, know. now now you ruined it. Uh, you have to shit. uncheck. What happened? Hey, look, you yeah. have to your divorce now. Yeah. You had her. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pick, 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 pick you lost a wife. Can you okay. close that hey, look, picture? Just hit the X. Hey, look, it's your bald wife. It's your bald half Syrian wife. Oh, fuck. Click the X. Yeah, close. Yeah, no, click, no, the no. X. click the X. Click the X. And just click the X. We're asking you just to click on the X. There you go. Okay. Scroll back down. Who do you want? Who do you want his wife? No, he's going back. I sat down, so he went up. It's good that you listen. No, no, but hold on, hold on. No, we found her. She's down, down, down. I'll tell you what he was talking about. Keep going, keep yeah, look, going. It's Jerry Seinfeld. Keep going. You have to keep going, dog. It's uh, we got she's your wife. There. She's beautiful. She's for you. Yeah. It's uh, Shia LaBeouf. No, no, yeah, she's almost your wife. There. I did see Shia LaBeouf in this. Apparently, Shia LaBeouf uh, dressed up as a woman. Yeah, I believe him. Man. I believe. It. So what was the problem? He, he Why is there so much Seinfeld here? Because like Norm you said, it's Norm oh, no, yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stole it from Larry David. Yeah. yeah. So Larry David's been trending. He's really? been trendy for years. Oh, trendy. Yeah. yeah. Ahead of his time. Yeah. People want to dress like that. What's the? Do you think bald is going to go into come into fashion? Well, you said you, uh, I don't think so because you yeah, hate like, like you said uh, Andrew Tate. You hate him. He's evil for that's, losing his hair. That's crazy. That's no, I, he doesn't I, even choose that. I don't that. even know. I just I, <laughs> I I I've heard the name and people seem to not like him. I don't. Hey, Poseidon, care. do you like Andrew Tate? Uh, I I find him hilarious. Poseidon likes him. 
F beside him, I absolutely love George. What about you? I think he's oh man, I, I saw a clip of him like, like, like is he's so funny because it's like he's, he's a nice, said, funny he's, he said in the past, he goes, so fucking he funny, said man. that most of it so is uh, he's come out and said like a lot of the shit he says is very satirical. And if you really do believe, uh, uh, all of the shit he says, you are part of the problem as well. That's hilarious. It's like those people that attacked you and thought that you were aborting people's children because you had an abortion. Joke. Yeah, exactly. You know, don't so, be like them. Uh, you're like, you are, like if you think about it, I'm like Andrew Tate. You're the Andrew Tate of Montreal comedy. I, Interesting. One of my all time favorite clips from this guy is he goes, "Do you think I wear headphones like a peasant?" <laughs> just the college just fucking around. Yeah. A night goes, peasant yeah, come yeah, back yeah, to yeah. Yeah. Let's say let's say we're sitting there in Paris having a, a, a coffee or whatever, and you're there sitting like a bitch wearing headphones, and then fucking mass shooting happens. And then and you, you don't hear the you don't hear the shots because you're wearing your headphones like a bitch. Clearly and, that's satirical. And then you get shot in the head because you're a bitch. And he goes, But me, I do a military role. Elbow one of the attackers, grab his AK forty oh, yeah. seven. Now I can defend. That's clearly like joke. If you believe, yeah, 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 if you believe, if yeah. you think he's being truthful in that moment, you're an idiot. I, you're, I think you're, you're, are, the, you're the mark. I yeah, yeah, exactly. Never. I just know he got in a fight with that like autistic Swedish climate activist that was like a big Greta, yeah, uh, Greta Thunberg. Thun, thun, <laughs> Thunberg. Th th Thunberg. I, that's not how you Fun, pronounce Thunberg. it. Thunberg. I don't know if you pronounce the H, but how dare you? That's all I know about him. Yeah. She uh, there was this. You guys know how he got clipped, right? Uh, yeah. He ordered pizza. Oh yeah, yeah. Romanian pizza. Yeah, and they had the pizza that. box. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> There's a trend with those guys. They all want to. They all convert to Islam. That's weird they're, to they're me. All Muslims. I don't think that's true because in Islam you're not allowed to have tattoos, no, unless you got them uh, prior. That's Judaism. Unless you got no <laughs> Islam as well. I'm not sure about that one. Probably because like if you, but I see like guys who convert have like tattoos. Like yeah, like, but it's all bullshit. It's all I like think if you got them prior, too. you're allowed to convert, but you're not allowed to get new tattoos. So you tell me if I have a tattoo of Richard Pryor, it's cool. <laughs> Do you have a tattoo of Richard? What? Pryor? No. Should. You should get a tattoo of him fucking Marlon Brando. Yes. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's so insane, man. That's like. But you're right. They go into religion. They go to Islam, and like it's. Yeah, Andrew Tate's a Muslim. I think I the know. reason why I don't do think that, he's a real Muslim. I think he just said that. Like, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think so too. I, I think he is. I think he's a real Muslim. My I think, my I think the reason why they do that is because um, right now, like in Dubai and shit, like you don't pay taxes. But you don't have to be Muslim to be in Dubai. No, no, I know, but like you it know, helps. they kind of go like I think they get seduced. It doesn't by hurt. That. <laughs> like I think they it get helps. seduced by that. They go, hold on, I could have like eight wives. I think they kind of like if they're like one of those macho dudes. Hold and on shit. a second, dog. I get to have eight, eight wives. You tell me, I could avoid I paying taxes, have pay eight taxes. wives, and fucking cut people's heads off. <laughs> but why was they introduced to this shit earlier? Yeah, yeah, so I think they like that, and they're like, yo. Yeah. If you're a white woman, don't go to fucking the Middle East ever. Like, don't go to don't go to Dubai. They're gonna shit on you mm. for money. Do they do that, yeah. They oh, that was if weird. you're if you're a white woman, do not go to. He's, he's talking, talking directly to you. He's talking to you. Okay, but wait, you said they shit on you for money? Wasn't this African yeah. women though? Like, no, like, like, make like, fun of you no, or no, 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 shit? No, no, no. Like, like literal. Oh, they'll offer they, you there, those models that have gone down there, and then it came out. They go like, "What'd you do with them? Like, he banged you. He didn't want to bang me. He just wanted me to eat his shit and piss oh. on my mouth." But they gave me like 30, 40 G's American. Yeah, like it's the the grading, but for the they like the grading. Oh. What is? They, the, if they just wanted to roast me for money, oh, that's that cool. That would be that'd be very funny. They, yeah, they would love roasting Jews now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get their hands on you, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, they they did make fun. Yeah. The, the, the recent clip I saw of like Andrew Tate was he was like laughing at people like with nine to fives like hey you set an alarm. <laughs> You fucking say, hi, boss, like, at yeah, work. Like, Is that what he said? Yeah. That's go, funny. Hey, you go, hi, boss. Uh, dude, so uh, you're, you're, you're going to love this, uh, Pete. Uh, one of my, uh, another clip from him that is fucking hilarious. Talking about Andrew Tate shit now. It's Is he, he, <laughs> he, but he's clearly fucking around. He goes, yeah, he goes, you you know how you get, get rid of the, the uh, weak guy yeah. in your group, uh, in your group of friends? You fuck I don't him. Wear no, no, he goes, you invite, you invite all your boys over, right? And then, uh, and then you give everybody sparkling water. Right, and everyone drinks sparkling water, and then the guy that takes a sip and goes, <coughs> "Get rid of the man." <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. That's very funny. It's so stupid. When I first started, Dude, I, I can't believe people laughing. thought that he's a like that's real. That's clearly satirical. That's just nonsense. Dude, he said, uh, 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 "I'm a part-time tough guy, and a part-time tough guy is also a part-time liar." He said it. 
himself. But it's not even a lie. He's clearly fucking around. No, no, yeah, obviously. But if you want to, he by saying that he means like you. Dude, I'm just fucking. Is he around. like who? Is he a he's comic? Evil. Is he an influencer? No, like, what no, is he's he? an influencer. He's, an influencer. he's online okay. a lot. Prophet of Allah, you know the new prophet. The only thing I don't <laughs> like about it. It's all about profit, baby. The only thing I don't like about him is that uh, he bald. got a lot of these dummies. But then again, it's their fault to pay like tens of thousands of dollars for courses. Then again, dude, if you're to, to how to be successful in life, but dude, if you're paying tens of thousands of yeah, dollars, yeah, you're so, not going to be successful. Like, dude, like, you're you're part like you know what? Like, you deserve it. In it's a way. too much maintenance. You have to like fucking ten Lamborghinis, three mansions. It's too much fucking maintenance for three fucking mansions, man. Dude, I it's saw too a guy. Much maintenance. He has one mansion, and he yeah. was trying to tell people. He goes, "I have this because he has real estate." And he goes, yeah. "Just so you guys know." It costs me just to keep the lights on three G's a month. It costs this. It costs, you need lands. You need this. So just to have the mansion be active and livable <clears throat> is at least ten thousand dollars a month. It's, so you can't relax because you got to keep working to make money to pay for that shit. So you have to find like a happy median where yeah. the, you're making enough money coming in, but you're not spending it all on just the house. Well, Fifty Cent spoke about this in his book. Fifty too. Cent. Fifty Cent. <laughs> <laughs> in, in his book. <laughs> Is, no, it a, no. is it a picture book? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> no, but he was explaining how he had the oh, mansion fuck. and everything, and now all he has is like he has a really nice condo, but you know, way cheaper than a mansion. He was like, "Fuck that shit." Same oh, thing. it is yeah, a waste. Man. I, the whole Andrew Tate shit, influencer shit, like ninety two percent of it all is this fucking guys from like India and Pakistan wanting to be cool. Yeah. That's like where all the support comes from. Is just from India, dude. Because that's true. Middle, probably true. Middle Eastern people, middle Middle Eastern men, and like like Western Asian men have their like and I, simple minded, like an IQ of like fucking sixty. They like this idea of success, and the idea of success is like house, cars. Do you want to put it into same way? Do you want to put it to the test? Like, what do you mean? What? Do you want to create a fake brand? We call it cool boy fashion. Sure. And all we do is market to India. It'll work. And sure. with photos It'll of work. people looking. It'll but work. but the slogans on our shirts are retarded to us. Like it says like, yeah. come oh, dumpster. Hit, cool boy no. fashion. Have you seen and then we see if it picks up. In in India, have you seen like Hit, Hitler and like Nazi uh, symbol? Like yeah. the, It's not a Nazi symbol no, in no, India. No, 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 no. But there's like a, a clothing store called Hitler. People, like, oh. they, they don't know the Maybe whole store. And like they love Hitler, but not because they hate Jews. They love the stylist. They Stash. think it's like, yeah, Fashion, yeah, yeah. Go, like, look, okay. there's a re, there's a, a clothing store in India called Hitler. I believe it. Yeah, love, they I, they do shit like this, dude. You're gonna love this. Click on it. Man, I'm already man. angry. Yeah, Muslims go crazy for Andrew Tate, dude. Too, man, like it's all like POV. You stole my phone. Middle East. Well, this guy looks like short phone. Indian me. Is it gonna play? <laughs> he does actually. Yeah. It's uh, if it decides to it's, fucking play, it's Hasher's father. Look at him, yeah, Papa Hash. <laughs> He came out of them. He came out of that man. Why isn't it playing? I don't know. Refresh and play it again, doggy. When they see a male man. Let's play on it, no? I did. You, you're clicking on it. It's not working. What the fuck? I think I have too many tabs open. This laptop is. Run. Oh, that's loud. That's like they film. They film shit like oh, this. this and is it's so all, stupid, bro. They, like, see the thing about that is like they love like, like running in slow motion and asses too. I'm watching a lot. Of, I'm seeing a lot of asses. Indians in Indians go crazy, man. Arabs too. About like asses. Uh, asses, white women, Andrew Tate running in slow motion while you look at the camera. They go crazy for that shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the most like tacky. That's why like Quebec to me is just like kind of still like a very trashy place because it's all like tacky. And we don't do any of that shit. I, I've I've seen I've look seen up look up I've, Hitler Hitler clothing store India. Oh, that we do. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere like Utram, like somewhere not Utram, but like um, not Utramont. Hitler fashion store. That's amazing. The, the the Pontiac region of Quebec. That's where like all the hills. India's are. Hitler stores spark outrage. Like they don't know. These fucking I'm Jews, man. Always. <laughs> Dude, look at the. Oh my god, look at the condition. Yeah, but can I? T do you see? Yeah. Do you see why There's I get? Do you see why I get mad, Poseidon? You see the condition of the streets. This is what's causing outrage. The Hitler store. Not the fact that they're living oh, like they're in the a, fucking Middle Ages. The what side? is this, dude? That's not a problem. That they're living like they're in the Middle Ages. They're drinking dirty water. That's not a problem for anyone. Oh, yeah. it's right here. That's for done. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that, I think that... <laughs> they're living like they're in Codinej. That, that's not a problem. I think that's random. That's not a problem. That, I don't think that's a Hitler's... I, I, I know I see the swastikas, but I think it actually... Said, I think it's 
further it's down. A good look show. Wait, it hold says on. Hitler Wait, fashion pause, store. Pause. Hold on. Yeah, but hold there's on. there's Wait a, a sign. It actually says it's in black Wait and it says hold Hitler. Oh, if I you go to see see down the videos of it, that's an ancient. Oh, Buddhist never symbol, mind. Though. Okay, hold sorry. On. That means good luck. That's an ancient sim like Buddhist. Yeah, yeah, symbol. yeah. It is. Yeah. I just, I just but feel you like see the article beside it says Israeli anger over Hitler. Dude, stop. Uh, they're living in mud huts okay, bro, and that's what's bothering you video gonna fucking that's a cool video though. it is a pretty oh, cool man. Yeah, it was I want to build a house now seeing him uh, clip stuff I like I like seeing like the occasional tweet about Andrew Tate like so, my boyfriend broke up with me so look, they're se- look they're selling stuff look that's Superman bro that's not even yeah, Hitler that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> That is the. It's uh, just called Hitler. It's just called Hitler. That's Nietzsche Superman right there. Dude, they're it's selling Superman shit. It's just called Hitler. What's the <laughs> What's the big deal? Hitler's an actual name. Oh, wait for it. You have to see the Hitler. God damn. Oh, but they have the swastika. Oh, like, shit. oh my god! Yeah, I'm still not offended. No, no, no. Wait, hold on. They have it. I'm like still the not Nazis. offended. Like the Nazis. But but look at what they, they're selling. They the thing Jim is, they don't. They're selling the same shit that you buy at the mall here. They it's truly the don't. Know. You know what? It's they're, like in the same way, like in Western they're, they're, cultures, we don't know about all the genocide that's okay. actually still going they're on. Well, we have we have Winston uh, Churchill Pub, right? Yeah. Churchill's or Winnie's or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You think the Germans who got rattled in World War II? You think they like Winston Churchill? They don't fucking like Winston Churchill. They got rattled. It's like, they're it's like they're clever with the marketing, though. They're not clever at all. It's just, they're just selling regular shit. If they were selling, like, gas the Jew shirts, then we got an argument. But it's just regular shit that you find in a mall. That's it's, in the backstory you got to go to get. It's in the back of the Who gives a fuck? <laughs> they don't take obvious. it serious because they're distant I, from it. I, well, so they, I don't think they under, they've just They don't understand. The yeah, they, they don't know. It's too distant. You have to put everything in context. It's like us with some Mongolian, random Mongolian leader. We don't care, but the people around there, they're fucking pissed off about what happened with, Mo- with with the Mongols. You know, they try to kill everyone. Like the Chinese don't like the Mongolians. We don't give a fuck. Genghis Khan. Do you get sad when you hear Geng- when you hear Khan? I get horny. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care, but people down there, they give a fuck because they're fucking, you know, their ancestors were slaughtered. Yeah, he also like impregnated. He, 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 I think like like. The amount like he killed, he also like recovered this by having. Yeah, yeah we're all like kind of related to him. So isn't he, he kind of like he one in like, four hundred people. He, he like evened out pretty much with the Chinese. He like killed as much as he fucked. So it's like it's equal. He did rape them though. Yeah. So we can't got to cancel him now. I guess another another. <laughs> oh, is he canceled? <laughs> is he Genghis Khan? <laughs> another victim of cancel culture. I think is He's woke. His real name is Genghis. That was his real name. I think Genghis is Jing, Genghis. Genghis. Something, something is Genghis. Those Khan. guys are wild. But this, I don't think they're doing it to be offensive. I think no, they no. thought it was gonna be cool. I think I read an article about, it and they, like the the owner really didn't know. He just heard the name. It's like I I've met people from different cult. I, I'm a big baseball fan, and they're like, oh, we know the Red Sox, and they know the Yankees, but they don't know anything about baseball. They've just seen the hat. And it, yeah. So it's like, oh, it's like a thing from the West, and oh, they don't know that's, what it is. That's yeah. the same thing in, in Cuba too. Like I see a lot of like like branding and stuff in Cuba that they get from like tourists. Like they don't know ACDC shirt, a lot a lot of uh, uh, Quebec flags. A lot you will be surprised. What? Quebecers love going to Cuba. Man. Yeah, yeah, they love oh, going anywhere. Oh fuck, it's Cuba especially, man. They f- I see like Quebec shit all the time, like maple leaves down there too. They yeah, like, believe me, yeah, love Canada. <clears throat> But this, yeah, you could tell that it's not yeah, a... Yeah, it's but not I, that's why people get yeah, outraged. They're, they're outraged for the wrong reasons. This is an easy fix. Once they learn what it is, you know what I mean? That's an easy fix. But the streets, the conditions they live in, that's what you should be outraged yeah. by. But they're a bunch of phonies, George. That they're living like... like you're, you're more outraged that they're living like in, in the Warsaw ghettos. Yeah, they're something. living like in the, yeah, the Middle yeah, Ages. Yeah, it's like... yeah. That should be the problem. <laughs> that's, their, that's, that's their punishment. Their, 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 their punishment for living in India is this fucking... That's what it is. Can we address They've suffered this? enough, man. They, what? Can we address this ad on the side? What I've seen this? that many times. It's what is it? Like, it's too like, far for me to read. It's like the okay, it says, un bon moyen de se faire des amis. It's in French. A good way to make friends. Yeah. She does seem friendly. E plan Q. <laughs> Click on that. I'm curious which now. Means, which means... Uh, e plan S. What is yeah. that fucking... E, What's e, a plan S? Like a uh, booty call. Plan ass, a plan, uh, that's a booty call? Blanc is booty call, yeah. What a weird way to say booty, but technically, yeah, it's a good translation. No, don't click on that, bro. Oh, God. Oh, You're going to get sorry, viruses, sorry, bro. What's I'm wrong sorry, with I'm you, bro? You Stop said, thinking with your he dick. He said click on it. No, bro, they're going to fucking hack all our wait, accounts. Wait, wait, Are you stupid? Which women hate you, Sarah? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all of them? They, they all hate you? All these, all these female all comments? All those chicks hate you, right? I don't, I don't think they do. I really... 
hope not. I don't no. think no. I don't think nobody hates anybody unless they have like a really good reason. But like, ah, oh, fuck, man. Even like I think like like before getting into comedy, like I really didn't. Help. The only people I hated were like my boss and a couple Indian. of teachers. And, and <laughs> and six billion people, <laughs> <laughs> the ten trillion right now in, yeah. in Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that's not like. But now, like in stand up, like I do feel like some like animosity to people. Like that guy sucks. Why is he here? I try not to let that negativity affect me because it's just, yeah, you shouldn't. It'll I think consume just, you. Oh, I think I can't like do that, man. I missed. Like, I had such a shitty pandemic. I'm just so happy to be oh. here. I don't have. I don't get jealous. Like I have no hard. Well, you're kind of at the top of the food chain right now. Not I'm, much I, to be I, jealous I don't know of. if I. I don't know if I am. I'm For not the Montreal comics. Yeah. I don't. I'm not. You're on the best shows. You're doing I know, what you want to do. I'm grateful. Like I'm grateful, but you I'm got not, a good apartment. I'm just I, soon, soon, one month. Your friends with oh. Georgia Silly. <laughs> uh, you, you're I'm, living the dream. I'm homeless. I'm gonna stab somebody for money. <laughs> uh, I, I live at the mall. <laughs> uh, Fucking David moved to a better mall. Oh yeah, looking, moved to a better mall. Yeah, things are looking uh, like like but is, on the. But up. I feel like he liked that mall. Like I, I'd see you liked it, but the you're same not going to get quality of homeless women at. I Asia think it's the security. You get annoyed having security bust your balls. Can you do, like, the time. a GoFundMe for David. Like, it's, like is that start a GoFundMe for him? Yeah, like, get an apartment. It's, uh, drugs. <laughs> He's gonna waste it on drugs, probably. Yeah, yeah GoFundMe. Yeah, go fund David. I've been I've been reading. I don't know if it's true, and maybe you've been catching up with this, but assisted suicide. Dude, that's embarrassing. Apparently, Canadians like support, which is like insane. Euthanizing the homeless. Oh, that's terrible. Like, I get, if you're one in three Canadians support it. If you're terminally ill and no, 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 no. Should have, oh, homeless, is your case. That's yeah. And it's, they're all from Ottawa too. Yeah, <laughs> it's all the fake nice people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We gotta kill the homeless guy. Sorry, bud. Yeah, man, I've I've had that. I've seen like a homeless guy, like I don't know, like twerk out or like tweak out something, mumbling. It's like ew, but then it's like I just go out about my day. Yeah, but he's homeless. It does, yeah, it doesn't yeah it doesn't bother me at all. But the other one's like, I'm, I'm gonna euthanize you. <laughs> gonna I'm gonna make you. sure you die in your sleep. Shh, let me kill you real quick. Hold on, it'll be good. Hold on, hold on, <sighs> hold on. I'm helping. Homelessness is dropping. Am I wrong? <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Facts and, and logic. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it's El Salvador too. The president of El Salvador is like uh, half Arab, and he's gone ape shit. He's like killing off all the gangs. All, that, but that's necessary because that play, that country was run by street gangs. A lot of Arabs go to South America and just fucking go fucking Allah Akbar and just fucking holy <laughs> shit. Use it, use it, use it for the greater good. It's crazy. That's insane. Like do, the they, do they team up with all the Nazis? Because that's where all the Nazis. South went, America. Too. Yeah. So, I thought yeah. you said South America. Yeah, no, I'm I saying did, yeah, they're I in like did. Argentina. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're old. They're like teaching them stuff now that since they're like a hundred years old and stuff but also that too like the unholy alliance between like arabs and nazis is so fucking funny oh fuck man that's 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 that's, that's a special one for jews it's the the, the two for one special <laughs> just put them out yeah to, they're, they're blockaded yeah like, where man. do i go oh fuck man that's crazy and it, there's it happens too sometimes man it's like some like white nationalists go to the middle east like in syria like david duke went to syria <laughs> i'm not oh, why kidding, why would a white i'm not kidding <laughs> I understand why, uh, like uh, a Nazi, would go down there. It doesn't make sense. Because uh, I guess like to be like anti-Zionist, but really he's just you know hates you know doesn't like Jews. Okay, so it's like a spectrum. You hate Jews so much that you love hardcore Muslims. That's crazy. That's like Hitler loved Islam. I didn't know that. Oh no! Oh, Hitler loved Islam. Like he was there with the I think the Grand Mufti of like Palestine. Holy shit! Whoa. He met the Mufti. He met the Mufti. Why Palestine. do people hate the Jews? Like what? Oh fuck! Is okay, I got a list on my phone. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, reason number one, we get you know, Well, look, reason number one, Seinfeld. <laughs> reason, it's not people hate the Jews. It's uh, yeah, actually, yeah, people hate the Jews. The the reason they've been hated forever. Like every Jewish holiday is somehow based on somebody hating the Jew. Like yeah, yeah. so well, the, yeah, the Jews like to play victim a lot. Yeah. You ever hear about this genocide thing? I think Moses so, had something. No, no. Well, what happened was um, in Europe, not all of yeah. Europe, but I know what happened with the Germans. What happened with the Germans was well, they needed a scapegoat. They needed yeah. a scapegoat after World War One. Yeah, and the all the quality jobs or whatever were kind of dominated by one community, the the Hebes, the Hebrews. And it was jewelers, it was lawyers, it was this because that's what they were, that's what they were trying to push their families to do. Since they they didn't have a, a land of their own, yeah. they were like, you got to be fucking stacked when you're here because you can't just be home. No one's gonna give a fuck about you because you're not yeah. one of them. So they would always prioritize educating and putting their kids and putting their people into good positions. 
So then when shit went downhill in um, in Germany, uh, they, they looked for someone to blame. Then they also asked for help from the local Jewish communities, like the Jews and stuff, to put their money because their money wasn't in German banks. And they said, put your money in German banks. And then uh, the Jews said, nah. And then people like Hitler kept that. They're like, okay, motherfucker. Yeah. We'll see. And then he took it to a retarded Extreme. level. Yeah. And then the other people who were saving their money, this is another fucked up thing, but the Jews, the Jews thought, oh, my money's safe in like Switzerland or whatever. The fucking Swiss, we don't talk about this. Robbed them, stole them. They said, we're going to stay neutral. We'll take their money, we'll take their gold. And yeah, dude, you, it, there was, it was, um, people talk about the Swiss like they just stayed out of it. They didn't stay out of it. That's where all the Nazi money went, all the stolen shit, they took it. They didn't say anything about it. They never gave it back to anyone. They kept it. Oh. Yeah. And they also like... There's a lot of stuff like that. So anyway, so what happened was you need a scapegoat. So they went to the people that were successful in society and the people that they felt weren't helping uh, like monetary, like they weren't giving back, but they weren't part of, like they weren't German. You know what yeah. I mean? They weren't. Yeah. So they took out on them. It was, it's like here now, uh, somebody decides that the enemy is Greeks, let's say. Yeah. Like why do these guys have all these fucking restaurants? And then they come up with conspiracy theories that we stole the restaurants or some shit like that. And every, they make everything on the menu. How are they doing? How do the like, yeah, it's black you ever magic. go to a Greek restaurant and it's like you want breakfast, you want it's yeah. pizza, it's a sub, it's crazy. So they did shit yeah. like that, and uh, they just blamed. Uh, they need to escape. They they do it in history. It's happened a lot. It's just to different people. Other people weren't as spread out as the Jews, so we forget about them because they got completely wiped out. The Jews, luckily, they were in a lot of places. So like. We still keep talking about the story. There was prominent Jews that had like left, and so. But if they were smaller people that didn't really have connections elsewhere, mm -hmm. bro, the Nazis would just steamroll over them. We would have never heard about them in history. That's how crazy. That's how humans are. Humans don't give a fuck. But like even so, my Jewish relatives are from I think what's now Ukraine, but Russia at the time, yeah. and like so this is before the Holocaust. Like my great great grandfather was murdered by the Bolshevik, rich jeweler, the only rich person in my yeah. family, and he had to kill him off. So I'm, I'm doing a lot for the Jews. I'm a poor Jew. So I feel like I've got no power. I don't control the Jesus. weather. None yeah. of that is true. It. She has six arms, <laughs> controls the weather daily, doesn't like our friend Why Kanye would West. I make it sunny? Why would I make it so I die of skin cancer? The weather thing, I'm still not sure. Is that because I say it as satire, but people actually probably do believe that they Dude. control the weather. You, you control one thing, and that's David's boner. Pretty yeah, much. yeah oh, David's boner, you're under control so of that stupid. shit. Remember when everyone so hated stupid. me? Sometimes I miss that. Everyone's trying like, to have sex with you now. It's crazy. This, so, and I feel like, well, people are just generally nicer. Just like platonic, like random people on the street. I think it's the pandemic. No, you keep blaming the pandemic for everything. No, but there's real. I did research on it. Like, like uh, chronic you're doing what Jews have been doing forever with the Holocaust. Stop blaming everything no, no, on that no. one fucking thing. That, that, that. It's not the pandemic. No, there's like research showing that like chronic lo loneliness, like certain attachment <laughs> disorders, it lowers people's no. standards. I find I got more Stop. attractive after the pandemic, but all I did was age, and I think it's because everybody's just sad and lonely. No, people are happier because they're out and about. They're not no, sad. No, and people lonely. are happier. People too. are happier. Great, you're but... fun. You're having fun. It shows people see you. They're having fun. There's nothing wrong with you. Stop it. Oh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with me. I'm saying that like sometimes you go to a bar and it's like actually kind of ear like I used to never or I think I never get hit on, mm -hmm. and then that like but then the the alternative is actually worse. But you think got, you never got hit on because like he said you're an autistic and you don't notice when people are hitting on you. I haven't seen it personally, but I've heard uh, from a from a trusted source that this has happened yeah. to you. And I've seen it. It's very it's very. I watch it and it makes me laugh. It's very funny to have like it's all these sad lonely men in sweaters and sweatpants at Grumpy's. I think that was, I trying actually, to, I, did, I did, like on. Set. Like bombing, I did like one set. See, this is my thing is I, I, I actually got laughs at Grumpy. So I'm like, oh, they think I'm funny. They do. So, so I'm not, so what I'm learning is I'm not funny. People just want to fuck me. Well, no, you can laugh at, it makes you like it more. You're like, they're funny. Talk to them about the Holocaust. See how they feel These, about that. Okay. Uh, fucking crowd work clips on Facebook have gotten disgustingly worse. I saw one. It's just a woman just just being sexy and getting laughs no joke for like 10 seconds and that was just i'm scrolling up like what the fuck is this person doing and it's like but i nothing. feel like that i've heard like in in it's la nothing. you would see like you would it would be like people who should be actresses but don't have the connections or what like they're that hot right mm -hmm. and then they're just doing stand-up to try to get famous Continue and they'll complain lady. no but th those women will complain that they're too hot to get loud they're like uh, like everybody too like the hot. the girls in the in the crowd are watching their boyfriends want to fuck the woman on stage and the boyfriends are just like thinking about fucking her and then they're not or maybe they're actresses, just like funny bitches talking about that actually <laughs> yeah. another stereotype the jews control hollywood and why this and that i could explain that too no it's true i'm very i, I love history 
You know what happened there? <laughs> they wouldn't let a lot of the when they had first came here, a lot of those Jews from Europe. It's true. They wouldn't let them get other jobs. They wouldn't. They couldn't work uh, normally. People didn't like Jews. So a lot of the pioneers of Hollywood were yeah. Jewish. They, it was that the people from vaudeville, and they got into film and they, in, you know, all their skills. They put them in, in in movies, and they were the ones that were building it. So then years later, people got pissed. They're like, oh, it's only you know the Jews are controlled. But you. You literally pushed them to there because you wouldn't allow them to do other stuff that they yeah. wanted to do. So they took the skills that they had, these traveling like yeah. um, circus people, vaudeville, all that, and they put their skills in that, and it boomed. It be, Hollywood became like it's it's like um, it's like a pillar of our 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 lifetime, right? And uh, then they hated them for it too. So a lot of it is just misconception. People see half the story, and then they shit like it's it's like success. You know, people see the top of the mountain and they don't see all the work yeah. in the bottom. That's what happened to a lot of Jews. Uh, th- those are the most the funniest. Two sentences you've ever said on this podcast. Which one? Uh, the Jews control Hollywood. I love history. No, no, I'm saying that people say that. I know. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because that's how I know about this because I was looking into it. Go, well, how long has this been happening? How long have people been saying this? And the reason is, I found then I found out what vaudeville was, and I found yeah. out how uh, 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 like um, Montreal is pretty vaudeville. These, yeah, they have a lot of vaudeville stuff Montreal's here. Montreal's still pretty vaudeville. But I didn't know what it was. I didn't understand like where it comes from until yeah. I looked into it. And then I saw your people. Your They're people were pushed. My, I'm like I'm, I'm also just like I don't know, poor Irish. That's not. Or that's but it's nothing. I, I, I don't like. I, I don't feel like I'm saying anything insulting. I'm not making. Fun. I'm, I'm saying it's cool no, that no, they no. did that. It's I'm not cool, mad. It's cool that to be. Yeah, I'm I, not mad that they made Hollywood. No, I fucking cool love that, Hollywood. Yeah. I'm just saying it wasn't done evilly. It's yeah. just you're no. wondering. You're like, why do people see? I don't. I, I get that. There's probably some people who think, but I don't. I, I think our what we Google our algorithm is very different. Like, and now Hollywood's run by pedophiles. That's a whole different I story. I don't see a bunch of people talking about Jews running. Ho- I but, get uh, that that's a stereotype. Are there, are I don't there, see Andrew Tate on my feed. Are the pedophiles? You don't see the pedophile lizards? Are the pedophiles Jews? Or oh, I don't know. Isn't there stuff? Yeah. <sighs> Isn't there like a thing? That's like, why they what, hate oh. them. Oh, oh. George. Oh. Did we just give birth to a new conspiracy? Oh, Let's do it. I don't think it's a new right. conspiracy. Where, 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 where the Jews go? Well, yeah. wait, what? Jeffrey it's, Epstein? <laughs> he's a fuck. It was man. Jewish, yeah. Oh, man. I got excited coming to Montreal because the only Jewish person I knew was like Howard Ayux. And uh, here, like, would, my second time, third time in Montreal, I saw like an Orthodox Jew, like this is a wild Orthodox Jew by himself. And I got excited. Yeah. Then I met Josh <laughs> and Samson and any other, like. They're uh, all, they're half. Yeah, they're not even they're full not, Jew. They're half. You see how she holds it against them? No, I'm you're not, the problem. I'm not a full Jew either. It's all these halfies, but they're both extremely <laughs> Jewish. It's all these. It's all these halflings. Yeah, it's half Jewish man. Fuck. It's all these half breeds. It's. <laughs> that's why, like, like a werewolf and a vampire. I've been uh. more. I've been more conscious about Jews because now I'm surrounded by Jews, and I like to. I got excited. I'm not like anti-Semitic. I just got excited with all the jokes and stuff I can like finally make with like Samson and stuff because Samson's yeah. down. Samson's down. Mm-hmm. down. Samson's DTF down to the fun. Born to kiff, down to fun. Yeah, down to fun, dog. Samson's down to fun. And I'm surprised you didn't know all this Jewish history. Though, right? I you know, don't know about Hollywood. Jewish. I know about anti-Semitic theories. It's not an anti-Semitic theory. It's not even anti-Semitic. It's pro-Semitism. Anti. Pro semit. Wait, you didn't know that it was. Semitism. You didn't know that it was Jewish people that had built Hollywood. Oh, I know. I knew. And yeah, that. that's I what I'm saying. That. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with I, it. I fucked up. Though I said semitistic. Semitism. Anti-Semitism. I even know how Israel started. Every time I do this podcast, I know how that started. I'll spend like so. Today is Thursday. I'm going to spend today until next Monday having just no one long panic attack that I have said something that like anti-Semitic. No, or anything. Like it's it's fun, but I'm just like you didn't say anything. You you keep saying well. You keep every time there's like a compliment about Jews, you keep trying to turn it into an insult, and then how oh, cool Hitler would have been on this podcast. I'm that's not, weird. I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's weird for me and him who hate uh, anti Semites. It's fucking weird for you to just keep pushing Hitler on us. That I'm, is weird. I'm, I'm a Semite. I'm technically a Semite. Yeah, you are a Semite. I'm a You're Semitic. Semite. I'm Semitic. I'm a, Can- yeah. I'm a Canaanite. I'm, a I'm symmetrical. Symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> that's the difference. <laughs> But yeah, you should be proud of this. This is cool history. I don't understand. Are Greeks the only ones that are proud of their fucking history? Like, I'm proud of all the cool shit Greeks did. I don't know Le- why. Lebanese are extremely racist. And you should be proud of that. your fucking history. But I'm like a mix of, I don't. Well, I'm proud of your history more than you are of your fucking history. I'm like proud of the Boston Red Sox. Like, I, I have like artificial group memberships because I don't really 
feel like I have a cultural identity that much. Like, because you pull Irish. push away from it. Pull no, because like the Lebanese people, you know where they come from? The fucking Phoenicians. I grew up in. They have stuff to be proud of too. You got to be proud of your I shit. I grew up in the most average city in Canada. That's a real thing. Yeah. London, Ontario. Like, I just grew up. With too nothing, white, like, but it doesn't. It didn't white, start yeah. with you. you, your parents, and all that. There's a whole lineage. It's silly. There's a whole fucking. Th- there's the universe of things that had to happen. People that had to fight. People that had to fucking escape the Holocaust. Yeah, all no, this shit no, that happened I, I do, for but, you to exist. No, but I feel you like gotta respect that shit. No, it's an interesting story. The nations, bro. Right? Okay, you know how crazy this is, dude. You should be so fucking proud of your history. I want to kill the Greeks. Oh, they stole our alphabet. We didn't steal the alphabet. <laughs> he stole the alphabet. <laughs> it's shit, the do, Lebanese were the Phoenicians. Shit, yeah, I mean, well, that's the area. Yeah, that's why they. Oh, yeah. man, oh, they were always I, good at business. Look at this. Of course, it's mercantile merchants oh, sailing sense. around the Mediterranean. Yeah, founded. Cursors. They were advanced at civilization. It was fucking. Oh, and I, I hate how like, I hate how like Hillary Clinton is like stealing my culture of like sacrificing kids to uh, <laughs> yeah to Moloch and <laughs> to, stuff yeah, to Moloch and yeah. Val. That's what I should be doing that, man. I should be sacrificing. Was that in, kids. A, in the basement of a pizza restaurant? Is that? Oh, no, yeah, this is that, different. This is no, a that's, different one. That's the Lebanese tradition is sacrificing kids. <laughs> okay, pizza. No, no, an that, Italian yeah. pizza joint. Yeah, isn't there like a conspiracy? So like Tom tradition. Hanks drinks the blood of children. It's not a conspiracy, like, and he doesn't drink it. It's infused. What's that? What's the stuff called? Jen Adrenochrome? Is, uh, or what's the name? There's yeah, like some... Adrenochrome, yeah. That, I feel like I had theory. too much time during the pandemic and like... So hold on a second. Learned, well, I did learn about some of this crazy stuff. I'm the asshole because I respect everyone's history, but you, the only effort you put in is to into fucking Adrenochrome and fucking... And no, I'm the bad I guy. respect history. I just don't... I don't feel like a... I don't have any nationalism or I don't feel like a connection to like any... Like I, I feel like I lean into the Jew thing more because it's like otherwise I'm just white canadian or I'd you're like uh you're like you're like one of those people like saying like i'm like 1 15th indian yeah. like 1 15th <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, yeah. I'm like i'm not even saying to go out and be like yeah i'm, I'm jewish a- enough that i would have been like i would have been in the camps like but to be in the camps but, like, like hitler would have not been my fan <laughs> wait what <laughs> to be in the camps or not to be that is the question alas poor yorick <laughs> I, I think that's another uh, problem we have Yor- with this because not just you i think that's a problem with this generation is they completely forget the past they think that only they exist and nothing happened before them no i know things did i just so much cool shit no i feel like it's um, for me it just feels like cultural appropriation of oh, it. Like, no, 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 this no, whole no. generation is retarded i don't I th- no, it's but your culture. No, 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 but I didn't really grow up. Like I grew up with like just the most generic. I grew up on television. That is my culture. Ask me about any '90s TV show. I have like a genius level IQ for like '90s TV because that's what I grew up I thought on. Of, uh, I thought of the you know, you know how Greeks say hello. No. They they put Guido on a, on speakerphone while he says the N word. That's the Greek hello. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's my Greek hello. Yeah. But yeah, look, like fucking these guys, because of them, they started Carthage too. Phoenicians went there. Okay. There's so much fucking, anyways, it's just, there's a lot of stuff that happened in history. I'm just saying, respect it. That's why if you learn about this shit, you end up liking people more. I do like people. I like everybody. I, I, I meant proverbially you, not not you yourself. Oh, yeah. Like just like in general. The royal I feel you. like the more you learn about you, you, you're like, holy fuck, we're all connected somehow. Yeah, of course. It's fucking amazing. I um, think we're all connected to, uh, to Atlantis. That's the. Uh, I love the theory, of like Atlantis. I'm now. I'm now. A, I'm now a, an, an Atlantis a truther. Oh, I don't I'm know if I'm a the, truther, but I look into it. I look the, at the Graham, I'm a, I'm a, uh, Graham I'm a, Hancock stuff. I'm an Atlantis truther. Phoenicians are the direct descendants of uh, At- Atlanteans. I'm, a, I'm an Atlantis truther. There's a lot. There's a lot of cool crazy shit in the past. But what I'm saying is, yeah, we, we yeah. try to we try to put people in boxes or whatever, like this society. Yeah. But they did so much. Except for like the Swiss, the Swiss haven't done anything positive, really. Mm-hmm. I'm a caveman had cars truther as well. Cave, oh, caveman, like uh, like caveman. Flintstones? Yeah, I had, yeah, I'm a Flintstones truther. <laughs> they had fucking vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> what, else, what else can be a truther about? Fuck, man. 9 11. Stephen Hawking was your thing. Last Stephen time. Hawking is my theory. Dude, that, there's some fuckery there. I'm a Claudia never had a girlfriend truther as well. I believe in that. I we saw, can prove that. I saw a video that. Um, you guys want some some extra shit? That uh, the Snapchat map. Okay. What is the Snapchat map? Hold on. What is the Snapchat oh, map? So, <laughs> confirms the flat Earth theory. What is the Snapchat map? That so is it's a most pre- low IQ. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very low IQ theory, but I want to know what the Snapchat I map is. I saw this and my brain almost melted. I saw it on TikTok, and there was a dude. <laughs> you know this? I don't know. I don't. There was have a dude. Snapchat or TikTok. I- I'm old. I have a Snapchat flat earth truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 
I'm a I'm a Jeff Bezos has a large penis truther. <laughs> I'm a Jeff Bezos is a large penis truther. <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. All right, let's see here, man. I'm a. So we gotta put this to rest, bro. It's not flat. I don't know why this is still a thing. I'm a tuck Poseidon into bed. A uh, good night, forehead kiss is truth there. So like, so like, somebody took okay. like this. Hold on. Yeah, like this spot. Okay. 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 Hold on. Let me show it to the people. This doesn't make show any sense. Show it to the people. You're not even showing it to us. Show it to the fucking people. What people? <laughs> The folks at home. So okay, All right. um, <coughs> and you gotta find the one with the ice walls. I'm a. Okay. 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 So. <laughs> All right. I just so that's how, just a cool so man. You, you saying you say so this is uh, okay. this is the the apparently Earth, oh. and then outside of this, this is the opening. It's called the Summer Gate. Uh, oh. Bawa Batra. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. And then there's so they're saying that because of the snap map, mm -hmm. like you could like on your phone, mm -hmm. like this area. What? It's kind of like oh, this is fucking retarded. I saw I saw a video of this and my brain almost melted. So oh, yeah. you guys can listen. Uh, you guys I'm very sorry to expose human beings to Poseidon's nonsense. <laughs> uh, so it's not me. So I, you I think found that it. you found like a passage to the outer worlds through Snapchat. Yeah. So, so I didn't say this. Somebody else said this. Okay. This is why the Holocaust started. It's because of <laughs> dumb ideas like this. You're, the, you're the Greek god of the fucking ocean. You don't know there's like other fucking oceans. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the seven seas. I don't know. This looks uh, way more complicated. There's more than seven. The, the seven seas. And there's two. There's two or three suns on that thing. Chipotle. Yeah, yeah. Four suns. What? Is, that's retarded. Oh no, two suns, two moons. <laughs> Chipotle, Chick Fil A. Bro, go fuck yourself. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, all the links funny, for Sarah and George are in the description. Comfort zone every Wednesday night. Bordell Tuesdays. Thank you. Go fuck yourself. Thank you.